Guys, good morning. Welcome to LPQ Trades. I hope you had a good night last night. Nice to have you here, guys. Let's get into it, man. I'm excited that you're here. Excited that we're trading. We're doing the best thing in the world. You guys know that, right? It's just kind of cool. So anyways, let's get right into it. First, uh, CFTC Rule 441. Remember why you are entering into the markets to trade. Make sure you know your risk. All right. Second, news today, new home sales assisting home sales which is i don't think it's a big deal they know we're over inventoried right now and you know um you know how the deal goes real estate it's kind of it's kind of overstated overextended there so um so one of the things that i want to speak about today of course in the analysis let's go here first let's uh get into this let me change here on your tab here so the video can see it people in the video spx guys spx is 50 uh, spot price here uh which is to close last night um 55.64 um we could head over to 55.85 the most traded zone do i have the number right 55.85 yeah 85 um so make sure that uh you, you know it can it can have a push 55.85 right here and then a break of that will get us going, you know, for 5,600, that kind of deal. But 5,585, remember, the futures, let me see if I click this right. Here it is. ES is about 60 points away, 5060. I'm, I'm going to spot price on that for 5611. All right. So we have a, a 5625, you know, up here. And then for tomorrow, it's all jumbled up. Remember, 5650s on here, but you have all kinds of, you know, 5550, 5610 below, all that, 5590. So I think today, guys, uh, it's going to be the, the close, the uh, uh, earnings. You got big ones, Tesla and Google on the docket. So the market may range today again. I'm looking for a break on at least on the NASDAQ. I'm going to tell you that. Then ES, I just went over ES. This break of 20,000 is good. Yesterday's size is good to push. The market kind of tanked to uh, last night. It tried it tried from, from the close, came back down, went into gap here and took off. I'm going to show you on ES because ES is a little bit more doable. More here's uh, it really, this is closed right here. It closes gap on the drop. So, a break of this area, which I'm going to put a line here on the NASDAQ because I need, I need to see this NASDAQ really good right there. A break of that area at the top will tell you, hey, NASDAQ's going to go up pretty pretty hard. Look at a yes here really quick. We don't have a trade right now, so that's why we're going over this real quick. Guys, look, ES got dumped last night. Where did it go to? The push in the day went into gap. Look exactly closed gap right there. Give or take. I mean, you can move it to the boldy. You know, some people do that. So whatever. It's close enough. Ticks right into it. Boom. Took off. Closes this gap. That's why I have this here. I'm going to erase it now because we don't need it. One minute and 15 minute gap there. So these gaps are important to mark. At least I mark them, you know, and see. So let me get rid of this. So to me, a break of this area, 20 area, Richie's 20, you know, 16. Area 15 to 20, this area. That's why when you get your uh, sheets today, this morning, your levels, they're kind of close because you're getting into a place here that's going to close some of these gaps upstairs. You know, they're a little bit close because there's all kinds of little, I'll make it bigger. All, all, all places where the market disrespected on the drop, you know. So all that matters. That's what you're seeing. Some members are asking me why are they so close. It's just that's just maybe that just spits out, man. That's just that's just what it is, right? It's math. So, anyways, a break of this big order block here today will be nice. It coincides with SPX. Show you really quick here. <coughs> a break of this SPX here. Break of that. You got gaps down here in the 15. Some big ones too from the push. I'll draw this one here because that can, that can matter for later. And all that is priced in pretty good. 
So we got that. We got the ones upstairs. It's just obstructing to north. You know, it's going to try to get these here. I'll put them all there. All here. So when it starts. Right now, it's flat. Uh, ES is uh, up to Nasdaq down 14. That kind of deal. Market slap. Since they're relatively in the same place, the night session pulled it up. Also, we saw dark pools, liquidity coming in. Dark, dark pools, uh, liquidity coming in. Um, that's like behind the markets. You don't know if they're buys or sells. But remember on Friday, I believe it's on the video, we had a big one coming on Friday. Got the close on the Friday session. So they just don't, big money just doesn't do that. That can be pretty, right? They're, they want to make money on their money, right? So, um, and the market's been pushing up. That's why for me, I'm like looking at the NASDAQ to the north side because when the NASDAQ takes off, it's going to take off pretty hard. It's already at 20,000. Okay. And it'll, it'll, it's going to be volatile, but, you know, you get it at the right place and you can just leave it. Um, you know, we have other accounts that we don't, we, we don't do, we swing, you know, the, the markets and things. So, um, do futures for icing on the cake, man. But then remember these two months, the end of this month, um, you typically have a pullback in the market pretty good, five to 10%. So, um, you know, it's a gear enough for us to make new highs. Not really sure. Nobody really knows. We just have to see what's going to happen with earnings this afternoon. It's going to be a big one, man. Um, and, uh, and we'll go from there. It could be pretty muted today again. It could run, but it could be muted. Um, I think people are expecting good news. They're not expecting bad news. But let's see, guys, man. I've seen, you know, all this stuff happen. And market freaking tank and then take a leg and go up and all that stuff. So um, we'll see. we got to see. What's going on? So that 5585 on SPX is pretty doable. Um, remember your ES right now with SPX 49. So let's say 50 handles apart. So 85 add to that, you know, on ES. I mean, yeah, we're in ES. Uh, we're at, let's just say 20 to make it easy for me. <laughs> so, you know. 50 above that, we can be seeing these gaps will get close up here, guys. You know, if it wants to truck that time, you know, up these two gaps up here, we could today. So we will see. We will see what the market wants to do. It ran pretty strong throughout the night. It's taking a little break right now. Ran pretty strong. Um, EMAs look good. It's just going through them right now. Remember last night, guys, when we said, hey, guys, it's a divergence happening. Remember? I don't know if you remember that. Before we left, divergence, 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 look out, whatever, whatever. But we're leaving. I'm going to pull it up and show you, man. Right here. If you look at your <clears throat> other chart, you'll see the divergence happening. Let me see. Let me see if I could pull it up on this creepy chart. It's just yesterday. Here it is. I'm going to show you guys. I put out a video on it. In the afternoon, guys, when you have a drop off, usually in the afternoon, it freaking runs. Let me go to ES. Because a lot of people are just straight yes. It's starting to flatten out here in the middle of the day. We're leaving. Maybe it shows on the NASDAQ even better. And it started getting strength, kind of flatten out into strength. 11.30 exit. Same same deal every day, man. NASDAQ shows it a little more. I've watched all three. So, the, you know, once I see it on one, I start to wait. Your creepy NASDAQ. You know, trading sideways, sideways, sideways. It starts to diverge on the way up. MACDs are positive. Some people don't watch this, but I do. I'm going to give you some big trades. 200 handles on that trade, guys. 
middle of the day yesterday you know after we close so after we close guys you know you got to watch the market sometimes it runs in the afternoon sells off you're up top of the yield then you got you know then it's all nights in the afternoon it just goes straight up so that's just another thing that you got to watch good morning everybody i know you guys are coming in good morning <clears throat> So you got some gaps right here on the 15 from the push last night. Three o'clock came in. Europe bought it. Market went straight up. Too bad I wasn't awake at three, four o'clock. <clears throat> but um, I mean, you see it, man. Four o'clock grab. This is your 15 minute bigger W. I mean, that just tells you, hey, I'm going to go up. Look how paints it on the 15. Bigger W. This is probably your five minute W. And you have a minute here. You got a couple minutes in here. But anyways, this one painted up really nice here. Let me see how it looks on the five now that we brought that up there. Yeah, this is probably your five right here. It's not as extreme as. But you start watching this and then you start kind of just seeing it. See? Five minute W type of deal instead of so big. You start seeing it. Man, it broke the middle leg. It's gonna go, man, guys, that's that's like money in the bank. So it happens over and over and over again. I mean it, I mean it truly does. Um it's a simple pattern that anybody can grab. Um yeah, I know there's a lot more in the market than just that. Um, but you start looking at it and you start seeing a hey, reversals and how they happen and things like that. And you start getting better and better at it. Just looking at it and I have to draw it. That's a big old clump here, but on the 15, but you know, it's a little nasty. I'm not going to lie. You know, Richie's 85 got hit. 88. And if you just, let's say you just wait. Let's say you say, you know what? I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna wait till it just clears the bigger, the bigger W. Right? See this W here? I'm gonna wait till the bigger W. Then that was five o'clock in the morning. Wham, straight up. Now it's of course falling down, markets up. If you're short, you'll probably get uh Come to this gap to bounce. I see a 09. Is that even 09? Maybe 0925 could be. Uh, this 10 is kind of 11. Maybe come here and <clears throat> get into this gap here after such a push. Okay, it's coming down. The market's positive, guys. We're going to have pullback. I get it. It's flat right now. They may just keep it flat pretty much for a minute, guys, because of the news after after the fact. New home sales, I don't think it's a big deal. I think people know what's going on with that. Um, that's pretty much all I have. Let's see if we get a trade. Trading a gap upstairs here. Let me see if we get done. Oh, nine two five could get you a bounce right here. It's got a, a ten point seven five. Also, but these are so close together that. It's 11 and 10, so I'll, the 10 is a little smaller. I'll get rid of the 11. And maybe a bounce right here. I see it 0950. Oh, 850, but it's this gap here. That's all this. 
See if we get a push under here to get a bounce on your oversold there. Yeah, I need to push down that. So for me in the first run, uh, uh, the uh, open, um, I usually try for overnight lows first. See for respect to 900 down here. By the time we open, we may be halfway there, that type of deal. Closing these two gaps, there's closing, and that's like closing this one, a one minute, creating one on the top there, and that's like just more extreme. Creating this one up top there, so just close that one. Got to pick 15 downstairs here. So NASDAQ like ES hits that downstairs right here, that 0925, 0950. NASDAQ can come down and close this here. That's what it's looking, looking like it wants to go down there. A short should have been, of course, 730, but, you know, double top 15 minute. And then it may create a double a double bottom in the middle, but I like them extremes. I like them down here or up here. I don't, and when it gets in the middle here, then you really got to watch out. NASA could get creepy. 0950 ES looks like it wants to get down there. 0925. It's got an 11, you know, it's got stuff in between there, but this gap here, basically. A big push, left the gaps in there. Could look smaller, could kind of look like that, but you get the picture. So after, if you can trade in the afternoon, in the after hours, man, that, let me tell you. <laughs> um, I do have the chart somewhere. I think I posted it here. Let me go back. Here it is. Um, Tesla, Alphabet, Visa, Coke, some credit cards, UPS, but that Tesla and Alphabet, okay, it's up on your post if you go scroll up. It's going to, uh, let me see if I could grab it from here. How about that, baby? There you go. It, uh, it's going to give you some, you know, some movement on the market, guys. And uh, let me go back. Up or minus. Oh, it doesn't show on this chart. I think 9, 9%. Up or minus 9%, something like 9, 10%. So, I mean, it just shows you how the, how the market can move. It push down. Come on, get down there. I see everything pushing down, so it could be doable. Come on, get down here. And you could get a bounce from here, guys. Pretty good bounce, so. 0925. Got new home sales at 830, but I don't think that's such a big deal. <clears throat> 0925. We get down there, get a bounce or something. Market came back, man. That was beautiful, man. Whoever was up closes that gap, boom, and just took off right to the tip. That's that's a beautiful trade, man. If you're up last night, beautiful trade, man. You're at 200 EMA now. Want a break of that? Come a little little more get that 09 0925 200 is pretty strong oh last night i think i had my computer on i was showing you on the nasdaq i think i drew on it um yesterday it was here it's like 12 30. Yeah, I drew here a circle, and I said if it breaks the 200 EMA, and I drew a big arrow. It sure did. Broke through. It made a W. It never came back. Looked right on the 9. It took off. 
200 EMA clay. I try to take pictures of all this stuff. And some people say, oh, no, you didn't do that. I didn't do it on the video. No, because we were off. But that play, that's what the 200 is so strong. It breaks to the downside. It can be a minute. You know, it can be uh, a lot of people watch that. So you're getting a bounce here. Close in this one minute gap, but I want that 0925. She closes the one minute gap. Let me show you something on the five minute now that we're waiting for that 09. Guys, look, this is something very simple too. I'll show you. I'm going to show you all my tricks. You guys, this is a five minute chart. What I look for in the five minute is engulfing candles, meaning candles that are bigger than the prior. Basically, that engulf the prior candle. Okay. I'm going to have to turn on my tool here to draw, and it's going to mess it all up. Not too bad. Anyways, maybe indicators. Maybe I can, let me see how it joins. No. No. Anyways, um, you're getting a push down. Hold on, guys. Let's go to that trade really quick. Hold on. Before I start in this spiel. Oh, there it is, guys. Guys, you're gonna get it. You you're gonna get a bounce. It's your ten. Hopefully, hopefully you get a bounce down here, like a, a push. There it is, guys. You're gonna get a bounce here. I'm looking at the NASA guys. NASA's giving you gaps. Come on, come down. Just pencil down really fast. That 09, 0925. No, I'm not in I'm not in NASDAQ yet. I'm gonna get the bounce if, if we get down here really quick. You see you're oversold. ES needs to push down a little more. NASDAQ's already creepy. And that's it. oh there it is, guys. Oh god. Come on, a little more in Q. That 09, 0925, a little more. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. There it goes. I got two on the NASDAQ now. Went a little early. To the nine, may push down a little more. The one eight two five should give you a bounce here, guys. Give you a bounce. Just close some of this gap here. Did it get there? Oh nine two five, perfect. There it goes. Come on, push. There's NQ. Took off two. I've still got it in there. Come on, push. If it comes down more, dude, I'm going to grab two more. There it goes. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, there it goes. Push down more. Grabbing two more. Probably getting ready for news. There you go. 925. Man, went right to that gap, guys. Oh, my God. Beautiful. I'm grabbing two more here, so I'm in. Can we get a bounce from down here? Beautiful, right into gap. Now I'm expecting this to be close here, pretty good. Right into gap, that's beautiful. It went to 0625, guys. Yes. To 0650, 0625, and that's one down. Expecting a push. I'm expecting some of this to be closed. This gap is gone. It's got a bigger gap down here. See if we hold this 05, 06. Get ready for news, man. Five minutes. Let me 
you see over a soul meter here. Yeah, I did. Come on, close some of this. will be good. Be careful with the stray guys, too. Okay. Getting over soul condition in the positive. It, it, I mean, it looks good to me. There it goes. O six two five can get filled up first. Yes, it's O six two five right there. But it's got a bigger gap down here, guys. I don't want it. O three. Oh oh oh! Careful. Trying to get into this gap here. O three. It's your Mr. Wiki. Let's see if we get a bounce. You're waiting for news, man. Which I don't think the news are going to be so relative, to tell you the truth. Let me see. Uh, orange rollers. Closing some of this gap. It's good to get rid of these gaps now. Come on, push, baby. Let's go. There you go. Go, go, go. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Go. Let's go, baby. Get into here. Get into that gap up there, man. Get up there. There you go, guys. If you scaled into that, you can take profit. Take a couple off or something. Pricing him pretty good. Now I'm going to oh, just take oh eight seven five oh ninety five again. May give you a W down here or something. It's brightening in pretty good, so I don't see any gaps. So that's good. Let me look at the Nasdaq. It's creeping Nasdaq doing. There you go. Oh man, closest got perfect. Get up there, dude. It may give you a W or something. <clears throat> We're getting into news here, so. Trying. Closing a little gap on the Nasdaq downstairs. That's good. <clears throat> Fifty six hundred. It's a good. It's a good deal for yes, man. That's a little bit more of a gap here. Could fall down there again, or whatever. But There you go. Now that's getting a bit. Okay. 
Free market. They're waiting on the news. Oh, 830. What happened? 830. Now the you see 830, 3.99 million insisting wholesalers are expecting 4.11. I don't think that matters too much on our side. Maybe rich in manufacturing. Uh, eight, uh, 10, oh, I'm sorry, it's at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, never mind. That's, I'm so used to 8.30 is sick. I'm going to give you a W here, guys, to go. It's got to come up and close those gaps. Looks good. Doesn't look bad. I'm holding, I took two off, and I am at 53.50. 53, it looks on NASDAQ. I don't see anything else. Close that. I don't see anything else. Oh, thank you, brother. I don't see anything else. So let's see. We get a bounce here. A w get up here and close that. It's giving you a one minute little gap there. It breaks us downstairs, and I'll get out of the trade, guys. It's not. It just uh, seems like it's uh, not holding. Needs to give me a W. I don't want it to break down here because it can go a little further. Yeah, might not be the one, guys. I'm flat. I got out of the trade. I'm flat. Set up for a short, a short. It did go up a little bit. I took two off. I took my last two off. I'm, I don't want to sit here and hold this unless it comes back, makes a W to go. It can go another NASDAQ here at 26. Let me see ES. ES trying to close his entire gap, 50% of the night. Let me see, overbought, oversold. Yeah. Closing that up. And this pretty much entirely is closed here. This is at what nine, uh, five in the morning, five fifteen in the morning. Creating gaps upstairs. That's good. Yeah, market looks like it's trying trying to get a bid here, but it looks like it's you know, it's oversold. Looks like they're selling that bid. It's set up to short now, man. I mean, look at look at the EMAs. Terrible. Needed a little bounce there. Didn't get it. Got out of the trade. Closing gap here. It is oversold, man. See, we got to push, baby. Come on. Jeez. NASDAQ looks creepy, man. NASDAQ looks creepy.
pre-market. Good morning. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, I got some grandkids running around, so I'm going to mute for a minute <clears throat> until they yeah, yeah, No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you're good. for a bounce guys see which way it wants to go it's looking like a wood but let me see the nasdaq looks terrible be careful with the nasdaq it's looking like it wants to get a little bounce at least starts closing a little bit of gaps upstairs there es kind of do too closing this little gap here but eh, it's kind of undecided be careful careful with the trade definitely set up to short Yeah, it's acting. Uh, NASDAQ yeah. is horrible. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, it's acting terrible. Okay. I mean, I mean, there's nothing in the, uh, on my watch list. That, I mean, the semiconductors are red, uh, except for Qualcomm and Taiwan Semiconductor. Um, financial names are on the green side, but nothing, uh, nothing dramatic at all. So, I mean, they could take a rest here and wait until uh, the earnings this afternoon, you know. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Market's flat. Definitely took a little hit there. I got a little and a little bounce there, lost two and broke even two and got out of the trade because it didn't look favorable. I said, you know what, man, let me get out before I get freaking hammered in the short. Well, yep, yep. I mean, there's been no bounce here, you know. Obviously, before the opening, uh, they're not looking to put any money to work. Um, so uh, that's the deal. That's the that's the biggest thing I see here right now. Yeah. And, you know, the reluctance to put money to work. Yeah, I mean, it's like there you're holding it. A little bounce there, but definitely they're... they're uh, YM's on the way up. Yeah, know. you're getting just a bounce there. All right. <clears throat> Close the gap there. Got another one down here. It's looking creepy. Yeah, it's looking creepy. All right. It's set up too short, man. I mean, it really is. It's it's uh. I mean, it should come up close at least this. Yeah, it's middle here, and it's a gap here on the yes to come back up. Oh six two five. Remember, folks, that uh, the option implication is that uh, Tesla has a nine percent move probability, either way, and uh, and Google has a seventy percent move, either way. That's what the options are predicting. That's what they. That's what they're saying. Yeah. So you got some important areas of Tesla, the two sixty five area. If it goes through there, it, it it should. I mean, it could go. I mean, it could really go if it goes through two sixty five, um, and uh, vice versa. If it goes through two thirty, it could go to two hundred. So you're dealing with real stuff here. Yeah. Uh, a little bounce there. So, uh, can, uh, you know, Goldman Sachs, look, you the, the market is at an inflection point here. There's no doubt about it. Whichever way, <clears throat> but the market is really at an inflection point. So, you know, consumer sentiment, Goldman Sachs says very, very high. Okay. And the last AAI sentiment reading was almost 53% bullish. That's a high, high, high reading, all right? So 
the other thing that's weighing on the market is you usually get two 10% corrections in any given year. We've only had one. We're coming into a September and October period, uh, excuse me, uh, August and September period. Uh, that's usually bearish. Uh, it's usually bearish for the S&P and, and not so much the NASDAQ. Uh, but the NASDAQ in October has been a disaster. So, you know, and, and particularly in an election year. Um, as far as the SPX contract, 5585 is resistance, 4050 area is support. Um, there's also a big play. I don't know if you spotted this out, but I, I heard it this morning. There's a lot of puts sitting at July 24th, which is tomorrow. So, yeah. yeah you know a lot of put so somebody thinks something's going to happen on july 24th and don't ask me what i have no freaking idea no you're right Nvidia, uh you know we got through that 120 area it danced around there for two couple of months now you know broke it came back up through it on that uh on that uh buy side the other day um and so now the 120, 110 area is, is really support again on the video. Uh, I would expect if they're going to, if this stock is fully priced or whatever, it is, and it looks lower, uh, they're not going to stop at 120. So I look at that 110 area as a very important area. Uh, resistance in, in uh, uh, NVIDIA is 126, 126. Um, I mean, I think it was impressive yesterday at the end of the day on the IWM that it came up like that. I mean, they, yeah. just, they, they just killed the shorts. I mean, it looked like it looked weak, it looked weak. And, and after a move like it's had, you could see uh, that the shorts just jumped all over. They, they you know, they, they're always bets on the other side with a move like that. It doesn't matter what it is. <clears throat> it really doesn't. So... You know, on a move up like, uh, in a, you know, after being whatever it was, 180, 190, I know I was long at 200, okay, uh, and up to 225 and change, um, you know, so, you know, so uh, there, there are definitely shorts out there that I bet against that. And you saw a major short squeeze yesterday afternoon because it's starting to, it started to toughen up. It started to put a spike in the ground and, and hold. And uh, all of a sudden it started. It started. I'm sure it started by algorithms. And then and then the shorts got run out of the building. So now it's uh, down 76 cents. So I, I don't know. I'm just trying to point out there are a lot of different aspects of going on in this market. A lot of it. Um, uh, you also have Texas Instrument today, okay? I used to talk to that company, the chief financial officer, about their buyback order. I, I know them well. They're, that is a good company and a big company and have a lot to say as well. So that's coming out today. And we have existing uh, home sales at, uh, at 10 a.m. Um, look at this. The NASDAQ's up from the bottom. Finally, it gave you... It finally had uh, gave you a, a bottom Keltner channel a play. Uh, yeah, finally went out. Finally, finally, finally. And <clears throat> now That's around my entry point right there. And I'll point out early here, which is really the important time of the day for all of us, and also pay attention. That was led by the YM off the bottom. Okay, the YM picked its head up, and when the YM picked its head up. Uh, you know, a minute or so later, the Nasdaq started moving up gingerly and then just, and then it picked up momentum as the YM picked up momentum. So keep that in mind. I, cer I certainly will. Um, low for the day was 87.75 overnight. Wow. 87.75. So we'll use uh, some support areas that you all received. 5602, uh, 55.85 is a major support area. And again, it's uh, traded down to 87.75. So that means to me that, that that 85 area was not tested, really tested yet. Um, I, I think they're going to, they spent their money yesterday 
in lieu of the earnings reports coming out today. Okay, hope, all right, hope, a hope, a bet on hope. So, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't see them putting more money to work on any kind of situation where uh, they short squeeze again if that, if, if, if that happens. Um, so I don't particularly see it. The bets that are made now, man, uh, the bets that are made now is very simple are on the earnings reports that the rest of them do this week and especially this afternoon. So uh, this is going to be quite volatile and quite interesting, actually. Uh, resistance areas. A high for the day I see is 18 and a quarter. We'll use the resistance areas we put out there, 5611. And, you know, there were uh, 5615, 5620, 5626. Those are not major, as I like to call them. Uh, they're, they're just they're resistance areas. But the next major after 5611 resistance area is 5630.33 and then 5646 major. And in the middle of that, it's 56.42. So, you, you know, you got a lot of uh, noise and, and in the form of resistance areas on the way up. Just something to keep in mind because whether they're major or minor, uh, there's a reason why they're there and they're historical numbers based on the charts. And, and so we should know that it's there. So there's a lot of tough sledding ahead. And I don't see them making any big move today. But unless something leaks, who knows? Who knows? Um so the bottom line, uh, the bottom line of support to me is 55, 64, 66. That's the bottom line to me. Um, you know, if they come down there for any reason and they break that, it, it's going to be a problem. Um, yeah, I came all the way back up, trying to close the gap up top. Yep. Look at that. It's a two over soul and. 50% on the NASDAQ for the night. That's great for the day, actually. That was the day, 50%. Took a minute. Jeez. This pre market, Richie, man, you just have to wait. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean,. <laughs> General Motors up a dollar forty-four, folks. I don't know if they were earnings. That's a big move, almost three percent. Let me see something here. Go closing that gap that I made right back up, man. Right back up, yeah. Right back up, it's pretty strong, Richie. Man, oh nine to 50, uh, yeah, from the bottom there, 5003. Yeah, no, yep, without a doubt. Um, came right back up, man. Okay, big W set up, and are you you're starting now, but. Kind of got very extreme downstairs, man. Yeah, that General Motors earnings this morning, 6.30 a.m. Mary Barra. I told you the story already when I was at a business. I started a business predicated on corporate repurchase orders. It was called Caritas Partners. And yeah. we, we donated a percentage of the commissions to the charity of a company's choice, period. They picked the commission they wanted to choose, they wanted to pay, and associated with that was a percentage that I, I, we would donate to the charity of their choice in their name. And if they wanted to the write off, they could have that too, but it would be a double dip. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was in contact with the chief financial officer of General Motors, who loved the concept. Unfortunately, the firm umbrella I was under did not have enough capital to support 
for the, you know, they have like a $5 million capital. Most Wall Street firms, by the way, the smaller firms don't, do not have $5 million net capital. Okay. And they don't need to have it, by the way, if they're not trading securities. In other words, if they're not, they don't have a trading desk out taking position, they don't need to have that much net capital up. So they don't keep it up because it's just a waste. Okay. You know, in the big back, back big box banks is another story, you know. But the smaller brokerage firms, BDs, medium size even, they don't keep a million dollars up if they're not trading money. So that that's what hell hurt that concept. It was a tremendous concept, way ahead of its time. Way ahead. Way ahead. Yeah, that sounds cool, man. It really way ahead. You, you, I, I should show you all the material. You want to talk about social P on all this stuff? I should show you some of the material. Of course, our logo was made up by one of the top advertisers, one of the top people. I don't know what they call them. Uh, our logo, we adjusted the logo, the LPQ logo a little bit, which, I mean, I think it's beautiful, but it was originally, yeah. it was originally made for Caritas Partners, uh, set with one of the top whatever i don't know what the guy's name was i don't remember i i don't remember i know what his company's name was if you really want to know this is amazing all right it, it, the name of the company was your marketing sucks.com <laughs> and this guy was a brazen guy and you know i heard this advertisement and i said man if this guy's got a company name your marketing sucks.com he must have a lot of nerve so that's how I got hooked up with that guy. And, uh, you know, his team himself, uh, you know, put together that logo and it's a little different, but it's, it's almost the same. Uh, so yeah, you got a beautiful push. I saw one of the Nasdaq down there. Ah, I took two off thinking, hey, I don't want to be catching the knife. Yeah. But it went back up. Beautiful. You know, I, I, I got that it made. I, I, you know, I'm saying late, lately, I'm saying, and I got caught two times long on the bottom of the move on the Nasdaq today, this morning, early. Okay. And then I caught the last one. But of course, I took it off plus $150. Yeah, and, good. And yeah, but I'm still net down. But the thing is this, the thing is this, you know, sometimes you just got to, there's only maybe one, two, three trades in a day. Some, some master traders take one trade in a day. And when you see that trade set up and you see that pattern set up, man, just go, I don't say go all in, but you know, that could be the trade of the day. Yeah. And, you know, and, and that last one was the trade of the day. Okay, I did pay. I was a little reluctant, just like Albert. Well, I mean, no, we're all human here, man. And so, just like Albert, he took him off because he's not gonna. He doesn't want to get caught early. All right, I made a couple contributions and got stopped out. So what do I do? I take the money off the table. But that was that was the last move that you're long, whatever, and and you just keep following the stop up. So. Not an easy game, folks. No, you're right. I mean, it's just better to be safe. It's pre-market, man. I don't like to, you know, if I got, you know, a push below, you know, a, a vol volume coming in and all that, that's a different animal. But I'm not going to, not going to hold them pre-market, man. Like that, like I would to, you know. A regular day so um so the, the next area here of support as we said it was uh, it, well main area of support is 5602 very close and you know it, it i don't consider it a break or with any kind of momentum uh, unless it's during trading hours i i don't you know i i see that low overnight is 87.75 uh, but if 5602 fa fails, uh, you know, then you got to look at 5585. And as I said earlier, 505, uh, uh, 87.75 is, you know, almost four handles uh, from testing that low. So I don't consider it tested. 
and uh, I would keep a close eye on that if they break this 5602 area, which I, I think is really in the cards today. Uh, I, I'm not bearish, believe me, but and I wouldn't bet against this. I just think they spent a lot of money yesterday, and yeah. uh, they're going to be very, uh, you, you know, they're going to be, be excuse me, very frugal with how they spend their money today. You know, I don't care who you are, and I don't care how deep your pockets are, okay? You know, with these earnings coming out, uh, it's going to affect the whole stock market. And and that's it. You don't want to get crazy up here because, as you and I know, and I say it all the time, these numbers really don't mean anything. Then you got to contend with the conference calls. Everybody's situated in a way that's good and bad, up or down. It's size, up or down, you know, up or down. You put uh, 10 analysts in a room and five of them are bullish on, on Tesla and five of them are bearish on Tesla. They will stand up there, make bets, and make recommendations uh, to the portfolio managers. And then they will make a decision when they sit around the table and discuss their positions, which are large, and decide what they want to do. And so, you know, big box firm A, B, C, D, E, F, G will say, okay, so what kind of exposure? Oh, we're long 25 million share. Oh, we're long 10 million. Oh, we're long 15 million. Uh, what do you want to do? I want to sell 20. I want to add more. I want to protect myself on the way up. I want to protect myself on the way down. I want to sell 15% of my position. I want to buy 8% and add on a weakness to my position. I can go on and on and on. This is what goes on. This is why these moves are distorted, especially in the beginning, especially when the news are, uh, comes out or the earnings are released or the, or the news numbers are, are come out. That's exactly why. So, you know, of course, General Motors earnings, uh, you know, and any earnings uh, uh, have to be looked at on a serious note. But uh, don't discount the fact that the, the huge amount of different differences and, and position wise and 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 how they want to react to it. NASDAQ getting bids again here. I see it on a dome. Yeah, I mean they're buying they're buying that push down, man. The market's strong, man. Yep. Market's a little strong. I mean, look, they bought it back, close the gap here again. So I wanted this area down here, but it's okay. We'll get it. Look, uh, last week, uh, uh, every <coughs> any bounce last week was uh, they were all sold. They were all sold. Every bounce last week was sold until yesterday, and then the dips were bought. And uh, and again, the last one to join the party, the same personalities we've been speaking about for weeks was the IW. <coughs> Uh, that was the last the, 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 the last group or the last index, the last ETF to join the party. Okay, guys, we will be patient. Uh, Let's see. Thank God. Beautiful push from downstairs, man. Oh. Got it over two oversold, but 03, man. Bam. Slammed up. Yes, man. That's good. Can't close this gap here on the left. Close all those. Got a bigger one downstairs. Maybe at the open it can get that. Look at that push, man. It wants to go. No way to, to market open. Market open now, see? Oh, let's see who's here. Good morning, Tom. Quinn, good morning. Herna, good morning. You know, I suspect uh, you're not going to get any any big volume behind these moves today, okay? Unless they are way down and, and you know, uh, unless they puke them or pencil down or pencil up, uh, the criminals will 
as well as most of the community investment community you know will will tend to get uh will tend to create more volatility but if you stay in this muted type of area it's telling me right off the bat that this is a scalp day a chop day right within within areas for most of the day that's what it looks like Yeah, it's looking like it wants the top side there for a minute. ES, Dow, looks like they want to crawl up, but it is pre-market. I'm going to wait for the next one, man. This middle stuff I don't like. I like the expansion. And we'll see where we're at. Just sitting here, man. Jeez. Do something. It's pre market, guys. Nine o'clock. Go get a coffee, man. Chill out. Yep. See what we get. Go get a coffee, chill out. Why well, am, uh, you know, why am is stalled right here? It'll be a pre-market uh, puke or mini puke. We'll see if that makes sense as it gets closer. There's the YM coming up now. I'm especially focusing on criminal activity here in a low volume type of day where where investors are trying just like we described trying to make up their minds where where the market's going what they should be doing in relation to where the market's going okay the criminal activity spots all that weakness and uh, so i look for these moves on a day like this they're very transparent all right and i look for moves like that uh to to tell me this criminal activity and it's very difficult as you can go and look up the Hunt brothers who tried to rig sugar market. All right, they went freaking bullet. They went, they got killed. I don't know how much, but they got killed. You, you, the market is bigger than anything. You can't rig it. You can nudge, the criminals can nudge at specific timing uh, to, to take up a, 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 a market or to take up a future or to take up an S&P contract uh, for SPX cash. Yes, they could do that at subtle times, but they can't really follow through without dragging uh, the rest of the, uh, the, dragging the investors out there, especially the day traders. So uh, they tend to expose themselves on days like this. And that's what I'm looking for. What does that mean for us? Well, if they're overstepping their boundaries on the way down, when the charts, when I sense that, uh, when we all sense that, well, that means they're a buy. And if they do the same thing on the way up, it means that they're doing it. It's it's not real. And they're trying to uh, get everybody involved, but increase the volatility and uh, create liquidity for their own pockets, by the way. Uh this is setting up the same. Okay, this I'm here. Good. This is setting up the same way. Yeah. Yeah, man. We're waiting, man. Let's wait. I wanted that expansion, man. That's what I love to trade. I got a little bit too too crazy, but it's fine, man. Wait on the next one. There's so many of them that come through. It's freaking crazy. There's NASDAQ ES trying to close that little gap there that from the drop off. That's what it does, man. Look, NASDAQ closed it. Perfect. Beautiful. That 50 trade, 30 handle trade, just a little too deep. And I don't I don't want to hold. It looked kind of creepy. 
I want a whole little pre-market junk. That's my cue to come in when you say creepy. <laughs> there you <laughs> oh my God, dude. Hey, I got an update for you guys. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the video is at 415,000 views. Oh, my God. And the short the short video is at 457,000 views. Jeez, dude. See? Wait, wait a minute. Come, I, I'm not, I'm not getting <laughs> Wait a minute. The Humble Trader video is 416. Yep. And what is the... Yeah. And then they made a short video of it too, and it has more hits. It's 457,000 on the short. Yeah. So it's, it's a shorter version of the same video? Yes. Yeah, it's just oh. a snippet of what you, you know. Uh, oh, my God. One minute video of that big video. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's yeah. That's yeah, yeah, Richie, dude. That's hey. It's really that, dude, you've been noticing we're throwing shorts out there and trying to get our YouTube game up. Because that's really where, where where we need to be. So be looking out for that. Go to the site, comment, you know, do your thing, man. Help us out. Get this thing going. Keep this thing moving. I mean, <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> You've got to move it, move it. Yeah, that's, that's great, man. Oh, YM to the top, counting the channel, the O3 area. Yeah. There we go. I mean, it, you know. ES is only up a, a handle and a half, so let's not get uh, too crazy here, folks. Yeah, so I'd like to attack expansion because in a market like this where it's flat, I mean, you know, geez, what are you going to do, stare at it all day? So we'll see, guys. We're going to get plenty of opportunities there. Huh? I'm looking for a break of the top, Richie, man, that, that 16 level, you know, 18 level. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and that's like the 20,000, man. Go. Yeah. Hey. It's doing that today, man. It's good. Um, they may be anticipating the, uh, you know, positioning for the, uh, the news aftermarket. Yeah. I mean, this, yeah, you got a lot of factors going on here. Gold is up, by the way. Okay, gold is up 1370. Uh, and they're talking about VIX uh, spiking to 20 uh, during the, uh, the weaker months, historical weaker months of the year. Whether, whether that happens or not, who knows? Um, August and September. Uh, and where are they talking about? Ah, <laughs> where are they, what are they talking about? What, what price level? Albert, 20. I know. How long have we been talking about? 20. All right. How long? Yeah. How long have we been talking about spiking to 20, the VIX, when it was 12 and a quarter? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, how long? Come on. You got big dark liquidity coming in, guys, to, 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 to get to that 20. Why is smart? Think about it. Volatility is going to come to the market. They're not just buying just because. So it's kind of cool. You buy the VIX down here, it gets you 20, man. You're making a ton of cash. I mean, basically what they're doing. Volatility is going to come. It's here. That's a smart play. Yeah, here we go. All right, why well, am coming down ahead of the NASDAQ, I will say. So we look at the NASDAQ, let's just fictitious. I'm not doing anything. 76 short NASDAQ, let's just say. Yeah, it's got a lot of areas to clean up, and the ES. If you look at your chart, start looking at your area chart, guys. You see a bunch of 
Oh, these areas that I clean up. NASAC, forget. I don't even look at the NASAC one. It's just too, just too much. There's too many there. If you see, can see that. And you got your YM looking a little better. Uh, WTF. Albert, Pern is asking a question. When does okay. the podcast go live? Um, Under the, huh. What was he referring to? Yeah, I think he's referring to uh, Wisdom, Words of Wisdom podcast. They say they're the biggest financial podcast in the world. Yeah, that's uh, that's on the, it gets recorded on the 9th of, of uh, August, I yep. believe, is the date. And then, um, you know, give them a few weeks to uh, edit, so. Uh, you know, it's the 8th, uh, 4 p.m. on the 8th. Albert. Yeah, 4 p.m. at the 8th is the actual uh, oh. recording. Now, if they go live there, it's fine. You know, so be looking out for that. Yeah, I'm not, sure. I'm not sure about that, by the way. I I was thinking about it. Is is that a, a live podcast? Is it is it simultaneously live? No, it could. It could be. It could be from there. Yeah, I I, I would think. I don't know. I, I don't really know. We'll see if they do it and then, then throw it out or they just, you know. They yeah, just go live. Uh, we'll see. Look at the YM. Gave us the way. Keep it in mind. Gave us the Nasdaq short at seventy six, I think. And look yeah, at the YM. Good. The YM led the way again. Okay, that could be valuable for the rest of this day. What you're seeing there, what we just saw. Nine twelve. Oh, oh, nasty Nasdaq. Here they come down again. Nasty Nasdaq. Yeah, there yeah. Is, there's a little puke. Look at that. Twenty handles, man. Twenty. Yeah, that's beautiful. YM down sixty three. Bottom counting a channel. Look at that. Oh, there's a nasty I'm Nasdaq. Closing again. gap. Oh, closing gap. There you go. Created gap there. We gotta wait to the open now, guys. So you got 15 minutes. I'm gonna go grab a coffee, Mr. Richie. Mr. Oh, get him, I'll be right back. Go get him. Go get him. All right, turn it in to your bottom Kelton channel move right there. Bottom Kelton channel move. You see it? There it is. I'm negotiating for wins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll I'll get in trouble later because she just said, "Sure, uh -huh. sure, I'll make I'll make a dollar on it. It's okay." <laughs> You're getting hustled by your grandchildren, Todd. Oh yeah, <laughs> all the time, man. Yeah. You see yours all the time, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, mine are like you know. Under five, three of them. Yeah, these these live about uh, a little over an hour away, but during the summer, um, we try to get them a couple, like a, like today, tonight, and then tomorrow night they'll go home with their dad. Nice. Uh, my wife just goes crazy, man. She loves it so much. Oh, that's yeah. yeah I mean, it's uh, it's wonderful, man. It really is. It's why I'm out of New York. Well, one of the reasons, nothing. New York yeah. has become, yeah, New York has become a cesspool. When you're a New Yorker, you see this, you see the changes, you, you know. It's oh, not, yeah. It's bad enough what you read, okay? Yeah. But it, it's, it's worse in a lot of different they, ways. They, yeah, they cover up a lot of it. They don't. Right? Yeah. When you're a native New Yorker, all these subtle ways, uh, you know, are just, you know, and you got to worry about walking around the streets in New York, man. I never worried about that. Never. You know, you always keep your eyes open, but you never worry about it. I never worried about it. Now, forget it. Walk around the streets, you got to be careful. Oh, it's yeah, forget it. It's freaky, these lunatics walking around. And anyway, it's serious. But it's wonderful. 
Man, these kids, they have sleepovers, the two older one. The younger one is a year and a half. Middle one is three and a half. Older one just turned five. That's three nice. Girls. Three girls, they're all different too. Things want to go up again. And YM, that that did not come down where the Y in the YM area. Okay, almost did, but did not. So let's keep an eye on that, Turner. Pay attention to the three-minute monitor overlay by Kelton Channels, or three-minute uh, bar chart, I should say, on your monitor. And there it goes. Who's leading who now? Is the Nasdaq, has the Nasdaq taken over the tag team match upon us? Buy is showing up on the Nasdaq dome. Buy imbalances showing up. Yep. I, you, I, I gave you NASDAQ this morning. Is that okay? Or you want to go back? Right. No, that's, that's great. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting used okay. to it. The, it gets a little boring on EES looking at it because it, it's not as profound. You know what I mean? They don't show their cards on the EES right. future. They, they really don't. And so, you know. Well, you can see the gaps easier on ES, but as far as when they're making their intent to buy or sell, you yeah. definitely see it more on NASDAQ to me. Yeah, yeah. That's that's my opinion. Yeah, oh, I totally agree. So, I, you know, I've got them side by side, so I look at, I look at both of them. Oh, that was a nice grab on a NASDAQ. Yeah, that was a nice one. That was a nice grab. Uh, e, uh, YM is not participating. It, it raised its head a little bit, but not... You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe uh, eight to ten handles, which for that is like uh, a layup. That's nothing. So I'm thinking that the N N N Q, if it's the same pattern that we've looked at this morning, if it stays consistent, I'm thinking that the NASDAQ is a short and prior to a pre-market puke. Let's see. And this is uh, around the same area where it fell off from. I don't like the way YM is acting. I still have another zone down from 620 to 590 on Dow. 620 to 590? What the hell was that? What are you doing? Richie, are you doing, I'm not doing anything? The orders just went into my system. Oh my gosh. No, no, I'm not kidding. Oh my God, I heard it. Hey, I'm back. I heard it. Something's going on. It's going crazy. Ken, I just got short 10 MNQ contract. I didn't touch anything. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. Crazy. Here we go again. Close. Close. I didn't touch anything. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's in my order window? Size, order, quantity, one. Whoa, be careful, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if that was, I don't know what that was. Richie, make your, make your, um, that sidebar on the right bigger. Maybe you got it on 10 instead of one. Um, no, it's big enough. I see it clear. Okay. I see then it clear. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened last time. You're right. Jeez, man. Wow. I didn't touch anything. Wow. All right, we'll wait for the open, guys. So, yeah, I mean, maybe old orders, Richie, too. You got the clear, you know what I'm saying, push out flat or something each time. Yep, that's exactly what I did. Close. 
That, and that was really weird. And of course, when something happens like that, you know, uh, is there a, a greater power uh, telling you to get short? <laughs> or do you follow what you should be doing and close out any position immediately because it's an error and you always close out errors you can trust me on this you can take it to the bank you can just write it down for yourself there's certain rules that we share here that have been tested over time for a very long time and one of them is don't trade an error account don't trade an error get out of the trade immediately it will come back to bite you you can think wow i'm sure like just now 10 short 10 what wow short 10 what what is short 10 and then you know to keep up with the you know because i have an automatic stop that goes in and it was adding it wasn't always 10 it was it was four six eight it was adding lots of two without touching it and then went up to 10. god oh i hit and then i hit close and that was it so who knows what that is <sighs> iwm down 95 cents Uh, General Motors down 78 cents. Okay, not up a dollar 44. See that, folks? We I don't want to say we keep. I don't want to keep repeating. Myself. I got to tell the truth here. We only tell the truth. General Motors up a dollar 44, down 78 cents. What the hell happened? What are the? What did they think about the numbers? Well, they loved them initially, didn't they? Okay. What didn't they like? What didn't they like? They didn't like the conference call. I don't know what they didn't like. All right, the high, high. It's stock trading as high as 53 today, folks. 53. It's 48.70. Today, for a move like that for General Motors is astronomical. Low for the day is 48.59. Last sale, forty-eight seventy-nine. It just magnifies the conversations we have here all the time regarding the relevance of the numbers. There's a perfect example. Another perfect example. What do they mean? They ran it up crazy when they saw the numbers, most of which was on purpose so they could get short. I gotta go refill my Sanka. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, yes. I'm, on a <clears throat> I'm, rant, I'm ranting now, man. I'm ranting now. <laughs> He's wound up. He's wound up, man. I guess just came down, made gap, came back up, closed the gap on the left, and now it's, you know, possibly come down and close gap. We just gotta wait. I'm waiting. Yeah, we got to wait. Go to here. Got a one minute there on the NASDAQ downstairs. Yeah, we're just waiting. About 20,000 needs to break upstairs for this market to go up. Now it's going to get hit again, man. Well, you're going to get hit again. Oh, what? Mr. Nassau's not here yet. Gave him five minutes. He's getting his sink up. Get him back here. <laughs> Put some NOS. Get ready to oh. rumble. <laughs> he'll, he'll be back here in five minutes. I'm going to set a timer. <laughs> oh, no. Five minutes is the open, too. Great. My God, dude. Yeah, did you see that, Thomas? 
Yeah, the downstairs on it, the bottom, yes. I, on the Nantes, like usually I wait to hit the, some of the bottom there at night, kind of bottom deal. Yes, the same. Dow, if you notice, the Dow numbers are downstairs too. On that BS, let me see Dow down here. Yeah. So it's expected to come, you know, be nice to come and close this gap here on the Dow. You know, on the left here. If you notice ES, Thomas, on this push up on ES, I had it like this. I don't know if you saw this this morning. It's just a gap, night gap, right? And if you notice, it closed it completely on the push down. So those gaps tend to get closed. Right now, there's nothing here. It's little one left here. Yeah, so that bottom would be nice if we get a sell off to there. I think 5600 is pretty strong, but definitely the night could be one, and then yesterday's low. So those two are pretty big. I'll bring it down. Oh, top of these break 20, if you get a bigger chart. You know, break 20, start seeing push us up like on your chart 56, 10, 20, that deal, then you're getting into positive gamma on the ZODTE chart. Should still be here. Let me see, make sure that it's printed out so you can see it. Yeah. yeah I'm back. As you start seeing that, you can see the level, Thomas. Okay, so why I'm down at the bottom counting the channel. There's a puke. Maybe that's the buy. A couple minutes to go here. Let's see what uh, NQ does. Maybe NQ has a pre-market little pre-market puke. I hope. I hope it gets to the bottom downstairs. Yeah. It's yeah, like a trade. I just don't like to hold pre-market, but that would have been the regular market. I would throw in a little bit of more heat on it and held it. Uh, pre-market, I, I, you know, it's not the same. So you got to be careful. It didn't hold here, took two off, came back down. I got out, and I'm glad I did. Went down, but then it exploded on the way up. But pre-market, you can just never tell. You know, it can do some crazy stuff. Yep. You can still do crazy stuff, although the YM has moved up off the bottom. You know, so I, I think I think NQ is okay here. Let's see. Definitely, they're buying the downstairs. The 8080s will be nice, wherever that was, Thomas. So, yeah, I mean, you know. See what I'm saying? It came up, closed gap, right? Made all these ones. Look, it's coming right back down, closing them. So that's what it's doing right now. It's just, you know, wait till you open. But that's all it's doing, creates gaps, closing, and then it gets into like a wedge to the open. Now, some type of wedge like this, you know. All right, I like this. Uh, I like this little mini puke. I bought uh, a couple of micros at fifty-five and three quarters. So let's see. I think it's setting up for an up opening. I'm protected down ten handles, and that's it. You know, when you see that's something, it. Like this, when you see something like this, you could keep it tight, where you lower your exposure to the amount of money you have out there. That's the bet. That's the specific bet. We'll see. You put an 0275 downstairs really quick. YM moving up. 29. Yeah, let's go, man. Let's get this thing started. Let's do it. 30 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. All right, guys. Look at that YM is roaring. And here we go. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Gotta be my favorite sound, man. All right. All right, I'm killing out of these things. Bailing out. Look at the bow. Bailing out. All right, shut up, man. Shut up. 
Look at the Dow. I'm not even saying anything. Look at the freaking Dow exploding on the way up again. There you go. There's a trade. Perna, did you get that trade? Still long one. I'm long at it. I sold two up $30. Each one. Now I'm chasing. I don't care what they do. I got one left. Long at 57. Here we go. Now coming straight back down. This is creepy. Hey, man, it's coming back to that buy zone. <clears throat> yeah. What's that buy zone downstairs, guys? Uh, 40,006. Right. So, oh, that's who I am here. Puking. 620, 620 to 590 now. 620 yeah. to 590. Yeah. Yeah, Watch I like the gap downstairs, uh, Todd. So yeah, definitely, definitely come down and get into that. You're gonna possibly get a really nice trade there. Let's see, guys. Let's see what happens here, man. Nazi's, Nazi's puking, guys. Yeah, you gotta be careful now. Be careful Nazi. That trade is over, folks. Come that little that, that little pre-market was a, a beautiful beautiful trade okay uh long right long yeah long four micros they're, they're near the bottom at uh, you know what i buy my five bottom at 928 down to 929 and 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 then you know at 57 56 and three quarters you know sold them up to 65 and a quarter so that 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 trade man that's that trade Dow getting killed. Yeah, we'll see. 9.45 is my deal. I'll wait. Watch the NASDAQ. Uh, YM is in trouble here. Be careful. Careful. Yeah. I see it at 02. 5,600. Of course. And Mr. Gap, 97 downstairs way down here and thomas spot at 88 downstairs so that's all i like to happen man it flush to you know overnight if it's strong they're gonna buy it look at the dow beautiful into the buy zone guys that's probably a good zone same thing with es let me look at creepy nq nq is trying to hold here yeah just bouncing off the bottom again Yep. General Motors down a dollar thirty. It's a big swing for this stock. They don't like that. And QES got a good bounce. That recent low we were trying to get there just got hit again. Bounces right off of that. YM zone there, Todd. Here you go. Yeah, I. You know, I'm kind of waiting on that 600, Richie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big magnet. Yep. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. Yeah, that Dow can go pretty quick. There it goes, man. It's a zone, though, man. I, I definitely, man, that would be a good grab, I think, on that Dow, man. 07. Creepy Nasdaq, ES holding. Oh man, Nasdaq took off on me. Okay, let me wait. Nine forty-five, man. Darn it. That ES down here was good. Man, they're being persistent here. <clears throat> There's the ES Nasdaq. Mr. Dow. Let's see. Let's see. You get a push on you. You might get that that right right to that, Todd. Yeah, I'm waiting. Oh, three is open on the S, so all of this down here is pretty open. Dow's getting creepy. 
Yeah, that wolf. That gap close on the line, even yesterday's deal. Yesterday's was 540 something, 546, 545. Without the wicks. There it is. Bottom of the range on YM. Whoa, Nathan. My chart is stuck. I don't know what's going on with this creepy thing. How you Everybody doing, buddy? There. Everybody's here now, man. Oh, God. Great. Oh, dude, slow down. No. Don't be... <laughs> Are you unmuted? <laughs> yeah, they can hear you. They're good. Dude, so, oh my God. No. Oh, God. Oh, that my wasn't God. enough. Yeah. That wasn't enough. Do over. Do oh, over. Dude, you got to chill. No. Okay. You were in the middle of training. You're fine. So we got to go. <laughs> You're fine. Okay. Don't worry about it then. Okay. Okay. Oh. Am I heavy? Yes. False. Very. False. Oh, God. Okay. You sleep well? Yep. Looks like it. <laughs> I know what's going on with my trading view charts, man. I'm in Nazi. Right that coming down. YM getting a big, a bid. Tag team match is alive and well. I got in at 602, guys. There you go. Good job, buddy. Yeah, uh, man. I got out. I, I just don't know. I, I shouldn't. I'm going to wait it's, for it. It's fine, bro. Hey, I'm the scalping boat, too, man, with this crazy market. If NASA breaks over 20, I'll be more like, okay, let's go. But, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but take the money, man. That's a, that's a hell of a freaking trade, bro. 62. From what? From EGs. 80 downstairs. I mean, I got, dude, I that's got, I got twenty on it, brother. That's almost a hundred handles, man, off of the wick. Yeah, that's a good call. What is right here? Gap, right into gap. Perfect. Let me get rid of that. Perfect, Todd. That's nice. a good call, bro. Very nice. Yes, and Q, are we gonna do it or what? Yes, going up, man. That's great. Yeah, man, get get over that twenty and go. You nerd. Yes, over that really that twenty. Hey, uh, Tom, the low for the overnight was eighty seven seventy five. A major support area is eighty five. Okay, so uh, number one, if they uh, from a technical on a technical basis, and what a lot of traders uh, look at is when they break the overnight highs, break the overnight highs, or overnight lows, if you will. So. 88, yeah, from that respect, if they break that number, uh, 80, 80, 55, 87, 75, uh, yes, it's important. But remember that 85 is a major support area. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see a 1270, 12, 12, 12, 12, 50 ES really quick up there. Quick up there yet? 1150. Sure, 1225. I'm telling you that 20. If it breaks that, guys, let me see XPX double check really quick. It was pretty much flat the market. So, SPX needs to break over this 6872 area. See this gap in here? It just needs to break over that. It's looking good, looking good. Gaps underneath, but it's telling you how far the 5613 ES 20,000 NQ. You gotta see the play here, twenty thousand in Q. You know, let's play here and see if it's gonna break through yesterday's uh, overnight and then yesterday's. So I got this line here at twenty-four, just in case it needs to go. Look at that in Q, man. Remember the grab I got underneath down here. <laughs> My God. 
Uh, yeah, at SPS is right on the top of a premium area here. Yeah, right. got to be careful with that. 70 and a half. So yeah, here it is right now, right up against it, SPX. Yeah, ES 18 oh, to 20. Right. Yeah. yeah. NASDAQ trade. Oh, my God. So Look should break over way. here, guys. You may have a hell of a trade for today for getting to news uh, uh, this afternoon. Pullbacks can be bought. NQES, Dow looking guy. Taught us a hell of a call, buddy. Good job. Uh, got out too early, guys. No, that's okay. It's the call, man. Some people may be in it to win it still. I, I do the same. I go a little heavier than normal, and, and I'm, I'm a scalper, man. You should go a little heavy, and, and just if I get 100 handles, I can get 20, and that's it. So... We'll see. A pullback should be bought, guys. Why? Check this out. Market's pretty strong. Like right now, it's looking nice. All EMAs are up. Good. Pullback on that. It's good. Maybe to the nine. EMA. ES looking good. Dow coming from the bottom is looking pretty strong. We'll see. But it needs to break this area up here. It's gotten this order block here and gotten a hit. High volume areas up here. If it breaks through, you're going to get into uh, positive uh, options, gammas. See how it's getting hit? Got to be careful here. Look at yesterday. Yes, they got to the quote unquote more high, got slammed during the day, came back up. You know, that kind of deal. Probably, probably today the same thing. Oh, it's going up, up, up. Boom. They tank it first. Europe leaves, then it's all nice. They remember those moves because could it come come off now as a different animal now because of earnings? It could. Look at the Dow. Oh my God, Todd, what a hell of a call. See a pullback. Let's get a pullback here in this area and see. I like to eyeball yesterday, you know, double top. Yesterday was at 10.45. It took a minute. Actually, pulled back uh, 10, uh, 9.45. Pull back, nice pull back, and then went back up and pulled back again, 10, 10, 30, 10, 45 deal. Got big gaps down here, of course. Yes, NASDAQ, everybody's on Mr. Gappy underneath. This area needs to break. Let me look at the Russell. Russell's getting a little bit. It got hit, though. It's getting a bit now. Everything's kind of holding this area. The area needs to break. Great if you got that long. Beautiful. But this area needs to break. Pullback is good. Maybe first. Draw a little gap here as quick as I can. Show you. Maybe this area, two shots here, 1225 and 1075, maybe pull back to that. If it bounces off of here nice, then you can have a break. I almost want a break first. It's been yeah, good. That would be nice. I, I lost my IBKR went down. I lost all my feed. I'm trying to oh, ramp up. Trying, oh. trying to ramp it up now. Almost. Okay. I have yeah, no new 15. New 15 minute candle and 30 seconds or so. Yeah. Thank you. Good job, Todd. That helps. Good job, buddy, man. See that if this helps, is a man. double top. I forget about that stuff, and I'm telling you, man, it helps. Pushing, baby, pushing. It could get a double top. Exactly what Todd said, man. Double tops, 1045. Remember yesterday, kind of deal. It's 10, 1030, but it also did it 9, 945 deal. Bam, it got slammed. It was way up here, <coughs> up here. It got slammed all the way down and hit it low and then creeped up. You got all kinds of people selling up here. Order block. Let's see. This is going to be the day, baby. NASDAQ. 2930. Uh-oh. There's my 945, baby. All right, I'm eyeballing. I need a pullback to go. Maybe uh, even NASDAQ. NASDAQ's extreme is creepy. You got to watch kind of like ES, see what ES wants to do. Pullback are good. Got the order block out of the way, getting into gap up here at 15.
it's a big, big, big time area for both of these up here where it's just high volume. Pullbacks are good. Beautiful pullback. It's your 15. NASDAQ back to 20. I'm waiting on the, on the, uh, let's see what it wants to do here off of that high, guys. That 20 is good. Come down. Yeah, you got stock sellers on NASDAQ. Yeah, yeah, you got to be careful. It's got to break this level. I mean, look, waking yesterday and got slammed. Well, back up, they got slam night session. It's up here again. It's trying to break through. Not a lot of you. It's, it's, I mean, it looks looks nice. I don't want to buy tops unless it's just rich through. You know, starts really going. You go, oh, okay, this is looking nice. We got all day, man. Oh, what the hell? What's going on, Richie? No, I got it. I got it. I, I hate technology. That's what's going on. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's at your 90 MA here. Uh, NASDAQ. See if we get a push. Everything else is pushing. ES, Dow's pushing. Let's see this NASDAQ. It's going 20,000 there. See if it holds this here, 20,000 or so. Everything else is getting a bid. There's NASDAQ, wait, Mr. Wiki. Nope, maybe he wants to close a big gap here on the 15 first. Half is closed. They did this yesterday, guys, so you got to be careful up here, man. Nine forty-five deal, same deal, man. Double top. Is it gonna come up and clear that? It's not looking favorable, that's for sure, man. Needs to go. Needs to go to the top, guys. If not, we're gonna have a deal again. There you go. And little leg. Yep. Over 20. Let's go. Push. You're going to go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. All my uh, IBK stock top came back up. Except for the futures, all the futures are not coming. Up. So I says, I need to call these people again. It's just like torture. Bitcoin is down twenty one hundred and twenty dollars, folks. Guys, it, it, this could be it. Let's see. I'm watching the Nasdaq very close and super get a high. It needs to push, guys. It needs to go. If it doesn't, it, it, you can have another deal. A big time area here where people are shorting and buying and trying to break through. Yes, to and, and well, I, I don't know. know if it's gonna, I don't know if it's going to matter, but we have existing home sales uh, month to month coming up in uh, ten minutes. Yep. Thank you. So I'm just going. I want to chill till then. Just in, you know, you guys are maniacs, but I want to wait. Yes. Yeah, somebody set the door. And Thomas, it's okay to be a, a a zone snob, okay? I miss trades too because I want to see a specific thing. And uh, so for you holding to your guns, man, hey, that was cool. I mean, yeah, you missed it, but you'd rather miss being – you'd rather watch a trade that you wanted to be in rather than be in a trade that you didn't want to be in. There you go. Thomas, also choose a section. Like, okay, if you want to go 02, maybe do 06, 042, and even on smaller size, you know, like choose an area because you don't want to miss some big trades. And you got the 
flexibility or getting out of trades too. That you, what I do is if you just hold it in one, you will miss trade after trade after trade. The other is pushing up. There's 20 needs, needs to break. The other thing, Tom, uh, in a situation like that, uh, O2 is a major support area. So sometimes they do not test it. But if you have a bias like that and want to get long in a zone like that, you sometimes it's a good idea to add, you know, maybe like Albert just suggested, O2 and a half, O3, uh, where you start because you can't have it, you don't, you, single entries are, are not good. So you know you're going to add again. So perhaps if you started at O3 and it didn't get down there, it got down to three and a half by the way, if you started at 03, okay, knew you were going to add at the full number, okay, uh, you know, that's one way not to miss it. Uh, and like Albert just said, so you make a little bit of a contribution, but you don't risk missing it, missing it because that was a, a very important support area. Yeah, let's see if it maintains up here, guys. The market's trying to push, looking kind of creepy. Well, let's see. Watching ES pretty close. ES breaks up 20. It did the 15 good. Let me get rid of this. Now you're dealing with just that there. Let's see if we'll get a bounce. We don't want to set up a, a, a duck. Oh, 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 no good. An M setting up. M setting up. Break of that M needs to come back. Close gap here might give you a lower height or short. M setting up. Be careful. I see it at 11. Twelve. Eleven close gap. Making gaps upstairs. <clears throat> I have to call IBKR. I'm not getting I'm not getting future contract feeds in anything. So I'll be, I'm here, but I have to call IBK. I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> 1075 is open, which is this gap here. Criminals might push the market down again, guys. Then 945, same deal, double top, M setting up. See if we get a push. If it doesn't break that 20 on this push, guys, you're probably going to get a short. Again. <coughs> downstairs let's see it needs to tell you the dow's looking creepy now it needs to tell you it's going to break if not guys will you know it needs to come up close gap but needs to keep going it's trying to we're looking it's getting hurt trying to yesterday's highs again same thing got slammed down man the afternoon but yes mm -hmm. the 945 deal double top same kind of deal guys it's yeah, right here Dow's melting be careful with Dow yeah closing this gap and get rid of that <clears throat> it's got a little one down here too I didn't paint in All right, let's see. I see a 1075. Yes. They've been news in five minutes now. Thanks, huh? See his closing gap went halfway into the gap. Did it go to 1075? It went right. 1125, 1070, 10, 1050. Wide open. It can come down, come up, you know, uh, get these gaps here, lower high type of deal, and come back down. Repeat as yesterday, guys. Same thing. Then it went down to the lows yesterday. You know, here, went down all the way to the lows again. And then it got a big bounce at 10. Uh, 
lunch. <clears throat> no, actually, uh, at, uh, at 1015. So, you know. <clears throat> so you're going back up, closing the gap it just made on the trip down. 1725, 1950. Leaving gaps up like this it tells you could come back. So beautiful bounce. It's holding, dude. A beautiful bounce up to the EMAs there. Look at that NASDAQ ES, beautiful. I just don't like the gaps. I like to see price in if it's going to go. And it's like, if ES is making gaps now, it's like last to look nasty. ES pushing up again. Closes gap downstairs. That's good. Halfway of that, it's good enough. <clears throat> Let's see. We got, what, five minutes? It's four minutes. Jeez. Seems like an eternity. Closing gap here to the left. Making gaps here. So I'm kind of doubting this here now, man. Let's see. Oh, man. This lost a bunch of charts. What the heck? See where we're at. <clears throat> market's relatively flat, guys. They might hold it here for, yeah. It'll range, but you know what I'm saying. Got big news coming. Is it going to run from here? Possibly not. <clears throat> Big gaps downstairs. Unless this home sales, you know, something just springs out of the blue and maybe it's worse. Maybe they'll like that. Let's see. One minute. Then you got another one, right? Got home sales and what Richmond's manufacturing index. Okay. Yeah, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock too. So let's see, guys. See where we're at. <clears throat> it's all become very mute, muted now. There's no real volume behind any of these moves. Remember that. IWM is now up 40 cents. Yeah, WM did good too. Came back. Semis are all red, except for Arm up two sixty three. General Motors down three dollars and sixteen cents. By the way, that's a huge move. Okay, huge. It was high for the day. It's fifty three and change. Okay, off of the earnings. All right. There's another perfect example. I don't mean to be redundant. There's another perfect example of the positions involved in this day and age with the money that's being bet on the table and all of these equities, big equity names. You're talking about, uh, you know, for for this stock. How did you get the news first? Point worse. Win. Worse. They wanted 3.99 million. They got 3.89 million. They wanted 3%. They got negative 5.4 on existing sales month to month. Makes sense. Bad. Bad. Makes sense. So here we go. Here's, a, here's another case of numbers. So what does it mean? All right. Uh, it means there's no, not enough houses for sale. 
and and the people can't afford them if they are for sale because they have to pay big juice on a 30-year mortgage that's what it means to me so that means a, a, a slow down in the housing market who knows you can figure these things out until you blew in a right, now, right? Yeah, yeah i mean really I, I you know i i could handicap these things all over and over and show you every which way <laughs> when there's there are contradictions within the numbers and the direction of of the markets and uh, relative to the number every time i know you're all sick of hearing it but i'm telling you i'm sick oh, of it man. i'm sick of here no <laughs> <way. laughs> oh my god oh man now it's at twenty thousand. Here we go. Is there a move up in the NASDAQ? Usually a five or six handle move. Is there a move up from here? Yeah, let's see. I mean, that 20, that, that, that 20 has to break a yes. Richie's 20. Keep going. I mean, it's looking creepy, man. It's looking like it wants to sell off, guys. I'll tell you that. Yeah. It's not looking like it wants to break through. And Dow and Russell just act like there's no tomorrow. Dow's fixing to hit 700 again. <coughs> Look at that dirty Dow. Woo! Oh. oh. Who knows? Look at this. Yeah. Why am up near the top and the Nasdaq? Yeah. That's what I was yeah. looking like a short man. Forget it. Forget it. Getting killed. I'm gonna I'm gonna short the bounce. I mean, it could be one of them deals about a 10:30 reversal again, guys. Yeah, it can. It can go down for a minute and then turn around again. That's what it did yesterday, man. Yeah, VWAP VWAP is at 6.63, so it just broke that. Shot up. Point of controls at 6.67. Whoa! So, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna run to 700 first. Yeah, it just bounced off of it. Yeah, Dow's doing much better. Yeah, yeah, Dow's doing much better. Gee, yeah, Dow's probably doing Russell's better. doing much better. Look at the Russell pushing up. I'll buy the Russell and the Dow. That's what I would do. Nasdaq, yes, are getting hurt. See, the Nasdaq is freaking tanking. Yes. YM should come down. <clears throat> Russell on the Dow, man. That Dow looks strong too, Richie. Yeah, yeah. It does. I don't know why. You know, Dow needs to break. Let me put a line here. Oh, man, it's going. Dow breaks up that 40, what is that, 40, 50 area. It can come up into this big area here. I think the Dow's along and the Russell is along. Look at the Russell, man. Oh my God, it's going, guys. I know, it's ripping up too, man. Yeah, I think Dow, the Russell's the best ones, man. more long-term type of deal look at the russell pushing up it's just overbought right this minute but you know it's pushing man expected move is 67 city up here thursday's highs kind of deal Dow ripping up, dude. Look at that Dow. It's gonna yeah. hit yesterday's highs, guys. Again. Yeah. Magnificent seven all turned green. All of them. Microsoft up two and a half bucks. 
Amazon up five and change. Meta up two and a half. Google up one and a quarter. I'm rounding out numbers. Pull back to Naruto will be good. I'm in the Russell here, guys. I am in at 22.5. 22.5. I'm going to leave this one for a minute, too. I think this Russell's going to run now. Just got in it. NASA's hitting a bid, too, but I think the more for sure play, man, might be this Russell. Russell the muscle, baby. NASA getting a great push. Oh, yeah. I mean, Dow ES now moving because of the Dow. Guys, this is so this is so long. I mean, at least the Dow ES. And look at the, oh, my God. Look at the Russell. NASA's following. I think you're going to have the break today and then set up for uh, for later, guys. Breaking here. ES. You see it? Gap, breaking it down, breaking it down. Guys, it should be long. Russell, Dow. I'm going to leave one in the Russell. I pulled three off. Break even. Now I'm at... 23, 20, 20 50, 51. It took, it put me out. Oh, those are close by, by quarter, by, uh, oh, okay. Man, I'm so blind, I can't tell. Pull back here, good. Pullbacks are good. It's looking good so far. Breaking through the top. Russell the muscle. You got creepy NASDAQ. Creepy NASDAQ moving up. Top count in the channel. 20 30. 20 0 30. Yeah, so far it looks long to me, guys. <clears throat> That's your 6150 ES. It's a 61, yeah. 6021, oh my God, I'm blind. 2125. Jeez. Pulling back, of course, this is expanded, but I don't think it matters, man. I think if it starts breaking through the top like that, guys, you're gonna get you're gonna get people. It's gonna start hitting more uh, more gamma up at the top. You gotta be careful, but it's looking good so far. One minute FVG there as I came down to. 26 was a resistance area. It still is. 3033 is the magnet. Pull back on the Russell. NASDAQ's going to heaven. Yes, Dow should be bought, man. I think it's a pullback for the Dow and the Russell to get bought. 
Yeah, oh. VWAP's at 671 now on Dow. It's a heck of a push. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> Expect the move ES today. The move on ES fifty six thirty eight. Just getting a pull back the close gap. There's your 2125. <clears throat> you have a 20 1950. If you want to make it. Already have one there. <clears throat> Coming back. As long as that 2250 is good, I'm good on this last one on the Russell. Pushing back up. Looks good, man. I don't see nothing negative so far, guys. I mean, it's just pulling back perfect. That's fine. You see EMAs. You want to look at those. They're all nice and go. NASDAQ. Yes. Dow. I was trying to turn it around. You know, Dow was it's inverted. And Russell, forget it. Look at the Russell, man. Went to the 90 MA, look, pushing up. I want to take, I want to take it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I see it. I'm like, oh. <clears throat> killing it. You got stacked buyers on Russell though coming on this candle. Yeah, I took off two. I'm gonna leave one in. <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave one in there. It's hard. Yeah, I'm gonna leave one in. I'll put it at 20, uh, 51 feet. That's where my stop is. A little bit higher. So if it takes me out, it takes me out. Now it's looking creepy. 1030, right? 1013. Closing up. Now ES is looking creepy. Now it's like looking creepy. <clears throat> Hasn't broken yet, but got potential there to break. Ah, it's looking creepy. Look at the Russell pushing up. Freaking thing is going straight up, dude. Let me show you on the chart. <clears throat> look, guys. Look at the 15. Not even a bleep. Pullbacks are good. 2150. Maybe I'll put now my stop at 50. Yeah, I'm going to put it at 54.6. So four bucks on that 50. Right underneath that freaking wick right here. It shouldn't come back to that if it does. Oh, my God, dude. <clears throat> Let me see why I am. Why I'm getting a push, too. Oh, my God. A 700. It's beautiful. Here comes your 1015 candle. NASDAQ is creepy. As I said, I mean, not even look at the NASDAQ today. Russell the muscle, baby. I mean, look at that 15, guys. It's telling you I ain't coming back down for a minute. Let me go back and see. Let me look at the four hour or something, see where we're at. Got to look at what's going on. Oh, my God. It broke those two points right there, dude. Do the next. Oh, my God. Yeah, expect the move 67.60. Could go higher. Could go 78.1. 78. Let me put something there. 
came down from there. So look, it's going to, this is freaking going up pretty hard. It, it's making NASDAQ and ES follow. I mean, you see it, man. NASDAQ's a little creepy because of earnings later. Two twenty-five eight. Right, WM. Let me see how that looks. Three more dollars, dude. Look. Oh my God, it's already marked. Two twenty-five. I'll put it at two twenty-five. How about that? There you go. IWM two twenty-five. That stick, Mister Sticky. Let me go to fifteen here, so I can match that on the Russell. Yeah, guys, look. If you go to the Russell and you go back, and you see where that is. It's this right here. This area right here. Maybe you have way in between here just in case, but you see it. I'm moving my stuff up, man. This is freaking crazy. I'm moving it to 257.5, which is 257.5 right here. This wick right here on the one minute, right below the 50% from days ago. Better keep going. Uh, Tesla down two seventy seven, folks. Yeah, it's is expected, Richie, because of what's happening later. Technology may take hits, man. It's well, Tesla. I don't know how that's making so much money, brother. He's make it or break it. Think about it. He talked it up with AI last time. The two two fifty uh, area was a good support area, so. I mean, yeah. You know how it is. He talked it up last time. I don't know if numbers are going to come in, the actual sales and all that stuff. I don't know, man. <laughs> and so you have a lot of uh, uh, in doubters downstairs, man, on your options. Wait, there you're waiting, man. Russell's coming down. I mean, you don't know what this guy could pull out of his hat. <laughs> I'm flat, dude, on this creepy Russell. I just got out. 281. I mean, two sixty point nine from two fifty. A dollar, ten bucks, and a little more. No, dude, that's eleven dollars. Eleven bucks. I got out of it. That's good enough, bro. I can't. I can't. Why? <laughs> you you're you're not a long term investor. Yeah, dude, I can't watch it, man. I'm like, you know what? It's good enough, man. All right. All right. Bless you if you can hold that stuff, man. I, I'm just not that person. Look at the, I mean, dude, it looks beautiful. It don't look bad. It's just a pullback. I mean, first, you know, if you can call that. I mean, that's a great pullback. That's an nah, I got it up there. The other two are kind of holding, guys. I think NASDAQ is going to hold here. They're waiting for later. It may push up a little more, but they're waiting for later on the stuff, Richie, man, on NQ and ES. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, uh, again, you, you're seeing muted, muted action. This is, uh, it's just muted. You know, when they want to rev them up, they rev them up. And when they want to puke them, they want to puke them. And don't forget these drafts in the middle that you're seeing are traders hopping on a bandwagon both both ways you know all the algorithms are going to do is when they sense this they, they're going to go to the higher levels or go to the lower levels and that's what they're going to do and that's what they're doing you actually one two five you ask you're going to hit there that dow call was beautiful too todd i mean you you know Nailing those freaking calls, man. That's not just one day. You keep, you know, nailing them. So 
look, we're going to get them wrong once in a while. You see me take a hit before and ask, like I thought, okay, it's it. I got out of the trade. It was a good trade, but I'm not going to hold pre-market like that. It's crazy. So, all right, cool. We view what's going on. I saw the Russell pushing up crazy. I mean, this is crazy. And it's still positive. It's just after a push like that, man, I'm like, you know what? That, that, that's good. Look at ESNQ now. Forget it. NQ looks like, oh, like the Russell. <laughs> Freak. Yeah. I mean, look what you got. I mean, really. Today may be the day, man. Dow's hitting a pullback that should be bought. That, AI, that, I mean, it's strong, man. AI stocks are going nuts here. Uh, uh, CrowdStrike is, is uh, recovering a little bit. It's up 3.24%. But it was down over 25% in two days. So let's see what happens. Down 879, uh, up 888, eight, 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 eights, eights, the eights. Very lucky number in a Chinese culture, eights. Uh, yeah, look at these numbers. Senatal, AI, Palantir keeps going. Uh, ties, really ties to the uh, potential new... Uh, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, they have ties to uh, JD Vance for sure. Guys, ES, NASDAQ, that Dow should be bought. Russell's freaking springing up on the pullback. Dow's creepy. Got ES, highs, NASDAQ. So pull back there. Hold on, guys. Let me go. Let me go get a water. I'll be back. Stay with that. Could get a pull back, guys, to go. Hold on. All right, buddy. Yep. Okay, so NQ up near the top, past the top Keltner channel, 20, 0, 40, it's 43. YM, softer, but still, you know, I mean, listen, let's let's just put this in proper perspective. The, the YM is up 30, 30, 30 handles, okay? So let, 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 less than one, less than zero spot, 9%. Zero spot zero nine percent. Just just to put that in perspective, and Nasdaq with all the noise is up zero spot seventeen percent. So there's a lot of noise going on. Okay, AI stocks are being bought. Tesla is down three bucks. The rest of them are green. Where it stops, nobody knows. Nvidia one twenty six is resistance. Remember. Very big stock for the market, obviously. Obviously. Now that they have the whole world confused. Okay, yeah, now that they have the whole world confused here, you, you're seeing the action just like almost dry up. So uh, the moves yeah. up or down or not, there's nothing behind them. Okay, be careful. There's nothing behind the moves except when they sense blood. Then, as they did with the YM, they took it straight up. And as they did with the NQ this morning, they took it straight down. Yeah. So, you know, and Q and Q twenty and a quarter is the bottom of a gap on the uh, ES twenty and a half ish. There it is, right there. Well, it didn't even get the words out. It goes to the it goes to that gap. Stops at the gap. Uh, 
Look at that. A couple of handles right there. Richie Quinn made a comment to you, buddy. Uh, never buy when it is the Keltner Channel high. At Ryan, at Ryan, I, I, I don't know what at Ryan means, but never buy when it is at the top Keltner high. Right, never buy at the high. Yeah, well, makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you, know, you got to re be reluctant to buy at any high. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. you're right. And if you're, if you're specifically pointing out the top Keltner channel, uh, yeah, I don't disagree with that. I, I, I do it once in a while, but I, I don't make a practice out of buying near a high on, on the top Kelton channel. Thank you for that. I really don't. Especially, well, especially. It, 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 actually, I do that all the time. No, just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Who, where do we know Ryan? Not, we had a Ryan that just joined. Yeah. Is that the same Ryan? I don't know. Man, I, I don't, I don't see it on my board here. Is he here? No, no. But uh, Quinn is. Oh, there's Ryan. Ryan is my trading friend. Says Quinn. Oh, Quinn, Quinn, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So right. Ryan is the same person that just joined. I think. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Oh, that's cool. exactly. It's exactly exactly. Hey, good, good morning, Ryan. Nice to have you here. All right, there you go. Hey, see, Todd, you're the detective, man. You're supposed to figure that out. Now it's making sense to me, man. Jesus, I've never <laughs> seen that Ryan before. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Quinn is our hero too, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, man. She, you kidding me? Yeah, she, man. She, she knows what's going on. Well, yeah. we're glad you're here. We're glad you're here, Ryan. Yes. Are you, yes. Are you looking from good? Or also forget it. Are you from Canada as well, Ryan? Oh, yes, that's nice, man. Yeah, quite cool, man. It's amazing. Well, thank you for that. Uh, Definitely, thank you. Thank you for that recommendation. And Ryan, we're happy you're here. You guys are going to mark a 15 minute FEG gap on the Russell, okay? If you know, I got in at 250, got out $11 or something. I, I'm out of that. But today, it was the one that was running for that I saw that's the cleanest. NASDAQ is creepy. ES. I think NASDAQ ES, these guys are waiting for uh, for earnings after the battle, guys. It may, it may stay here. I mean, it's relatively flat, per se. You know, the Dow's only up 17 you know, ES-12 and NQ-28, they're also 17, which is quite a bit, 0.84%. I mean, that Russell just ran like crazy IWM, and it's expected to go up even more. But I saw that. I'm like, you know what? I'm taking, I'm taking, uh, <laughs> I can't, oh. I'm it, man. I said, let me just take it. Let me just take the money and run. The rest of the market, I think it's gonna it's gonna be earnings, guys. After the bell, I think that's what's gonna catapult or you know kill and uh, NQ at least. You got Tesla and Google <clears throat> creating an M here, double top kind of ten thirty yet? Yeah, ten thirty. <clears throat> you gotta be careful here. Look at this M setting up, guys. This thing can go to the bottom. If it's not breaking the top, it can it it can come all the way to the bottom again. Is creepy Nasdaq, so we call it creepy Nasdaq. We call it creepy Nasdaq. Uh, 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 nasty, nasty Nasdaq. That's right. Nasty Nasdaq. Nasty, nasty Nasdaq. Nasty Cortez. Nasty Nasdaq. Nasty Nasdaq. <clears throat> Creating kind of like a. Again, market's pretty flat, man. I think they're going to wait to the end. Man, they're going to, you know, serious money going to come in here and, and you know, possibly. Now, that's what I thought the Russell was. It, I mean, look at those 15s on the Russell, man. 
you know, skipping a beat. It's just like you watch an EMA from the Russell and it's, it's telling you, hey, man, this thing is good. It's, it's just, I don't see nothing. I don't see no pullbacks are good. First, you follow the 9 EMA, pullbacks on that, and you got to be careful with the 50, probably at lunch or something. Uh, uh, uh. That nine hitting the nine like that on the way up, it's, it's pretty strong. You got the 9 EMA, 50, 100, 200, and 800. I know I'm creepy, but it makes sense. <clears throat> Look at the NASDAQ being creepy. That's what I want to trade the NASDAQ today. I love the NASDAQ, that's not, but look at the big M pattern setting up, breaking the middle leg. Big gaps down here. 15, you come down, man. ES. Can do a lower high here. Uh, <clears throat> oh, well, that gap is full, really. Gap right here, let's see. And check your IWM. Expect to move for today. IW. Oh my God, it's freaking going. Two twenty-five. We'll put a mark right there. Two twenty-five. Maybe you can have a little bit of a hit here first. Two twenty-four. Man, you see it, man. IW is looking like exactly like the Russell is. Of course, underlying uh, ETF for uh, Russell IWM. So that was my trade for. I mean, look at that thing. Freaking looks crazy. Needs to get up here in the Russell. 2270s, 2275 area. Watch the NASDAQ go flat here or perhaps not go flat. 20,000 on deck. The YM going up, and they probably won't hit that. YM. Ryan, just to let you know, up at the top, you'll see some tabs. Welcome to click any of those. It shows you some things that we look at. Analysis window. You know, we look at uh, ES. This is uh, just to expand this chart really quick. It's um, it's a value area on your ETC screen, ES1. Your value area on the left, these minus development areas is what's green on my white chart. And you have a 3,000 uh, chart, a uh, uh, tick chart on ES. It shows you the buys and the sells coming in. The market NASDAQ, kind of overflow. NASDAQ prints, prints even. YM to the top. I mean, what the hell goes on here? I don't know. I really don't know. Yep. And you oh, have Ron. Ron lives in Florida, Howard. Very cool. And you have, uh, you know, for ES, you have it for NQ. I don't look at the NQ one. It's just too many, just too many uh, areas there to keep up with. YM does a really nice one, too. And um, then you have one-minute Keltners on for scalping and three-minute Keltners for scalping also. There you go. Yeah, Ryan, we're in Florida too, man. What part of Florida? That's your ES and NASDAQ. I'm telling you, those M's are so strong. It's crazy. If it does not want to break to the top side, it's coming down, guys. That big old fight up here, if it's not going through, it's coming down. Look at your Russell. Yeah. Ryan lived in Texas and he lives in Florida. We know where Ryan stands. Yeah. We know about why. We so don't like to pay state taxes. That's for sure. We are in uh, Valrico, like 20 minutes from Tampa. East from Tampa. Or so. Lakeland, Florida. I-4 area. Now, if you know what that is, I'm sure you do. Look at the Russell, man. Pull back, beautiful, right back up. Dow, same thing. Pull back, beautiful, oh. right back up. Albert actually lives in Wesley Chapel. He lied to you. He doesn't live in Valrico anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. What? Yeah, we lived in Valrico forever. Yeah, Wesley Chapel. Same kind of deal. Yeah, I, I just got a, I got a right. The Nasdaq is creepy. ES is creepy. 
I would work out for those two. Uh, ES did bounce off the that twenty and a half area, but it wiped out that uh, it wiped out that gap. So now you're looking at uh, fifty percent of the next gap is eighteen fifty. So that's the next gap in the ES. And meanwhile, there goes the freaking Nasdaq. Yeah, the Nasdaq ES are looking creepy, man. That's what I thought the Russell and Dow will be today. The you know the play. Todd gave a hell of a call downstairs. Todd, that that was amazing, dude. He called this area to the buy on the Dow. Bam! What 150 handles ago, 170, probably more, 200 because of the you're a little yeah, you're 30 below, 20 below. That's another great call by Mr. Dow. And um. NASDAQ is just creepy. What can I say? I, I, I wouldn't mess with this till, you know, it's waiting till later. You know, it's wait, it was waiting. Nobody going to put money in the NASDAQ. I mean, it's flat. He has a flat. Dow's doing good, but it can get, it can get creepy. There it goes selling off, guys. Looking like a short to me, man, big time. Oh man, ES is tanking. Dow probably follow. Be careful. Hey Ryan, a Quinn has saved me from a couple of trades now. I listen to her, man. <laughs> I listen to her. She's like, hey, you better watch out. And, yeah, and, and Luca about too. I don't know if her Luca's here, but she she gives me pointers too. So hey, I don't know it all, man. Trust me. Well, that's the thing about this room. You're going to find out, Ryan, is we're a team. Yeah. And we want people. We want people to to interact with us and stuff. Okay. Just like a regular trading room. Richie Richie basically grew up and lived his whole life in a trading room, and that's what we're trying to do is the same the same thing. Yeah, definitely, man. And we we yeah. let Richie talk once in a while too. I know, right? Yeah, now guys, everything is pausing, which is normal. You got ES, NASDAQ shorting. If you don't want to go through the top, it's going to come and get liquidity at the bottom, man. I mean, that's usually what the market does, right? Can't get any more on the top. It's too heavy. It'll come down, and kill everybody. That's going long. Trying to find money. That's your 17 to 5. It's got more down. It's just littered with holes all in it, man. If you go to your chart here on ES, or I'll pull it up for Ryan. It's just What's littered out? with holes here in the valley area. Yeah. Yeah. They're dropping, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's dropping. It's a short. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, man. yeah. If you're a long ball player, 5,600. That's what I would look for down here again. If you're, you know, if you like the longs, definitely shorting. This can, this can also hurt uh, everything else. You know, uh, you look at your SPX. Shoot, man, I'm talking into the air. Damn. <laughs> I'm talking into the air here. Fifty. I thought Albert. I thought Albert muted you, Richie. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> SPX closing gap. Oh man, fifty nine and a quarter is a gap. Start of a discount window on a nasty Nasdaq. So there's also the bottom of a significant wick. Or as, let's say let's call it sixty. And I'm not. But meanwhile, they just rallied off the bottom. So and there goes the uh, YM's trying to move up again through the middle Keltner channel, forty seven thirty. Let's see what happens. Big area here, 80 XBX, that's what you're seeing. You know, if it breaks through, you got to call resistance there. If it breaks through there, it's it's going to it's gonna shoot upstairs, guys. Yeah. 
next gap down is 15, 50 percent of the next gap gap down in the ES contract is 15. All right, it wiped out the 18 and a half level, and now, you know, again, there's, there's no real money behind these moves. Okay, they're messing around. The algorithms are hunting, hunting, big game hunting. Yeah, you're right. Even the Russell pulling back. I think one of the, the first pullbacks. I'm out of that trade look, kind of creating like an M. I got out right here on this top of this. And I got in at 50, guys. It exploded. I was waiting for a pullback. It pulled back just a hair. <laughs> it got me in. But see how it's now it's coming down? Watch the YM. Yeah. Watch the YM here going to even. ES contract puking. 15 is 50% 50 of this gap we're coming into right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think a ticket 15. 15 and a quarter. <clears throat> yeah, even the Russell pulling back. The strong ones pulling back. Be careful. NASDAQ ES. We call the short up there, the M pattern. Um, that's a gap downstairs here, guys. Look at the Dow coming down too. Yeah. Even. 10 30 reversal. Yeah, 1030 reversal. And here's if it breaks this even got got some pat some uh gaps here. One minute FVG. It breaks this even down. there, and then you're probably gonna get the even that downstairs. Now that moving up, middle Kelton channel, oh four. Comes enough of you and now. ES bounces off to 15 and a quarter. Gap didn't wipe the gap out, got into the gap and rallied. They're just hunting, man. The algorithms are hunting here. Hunting, hunting. Big game. Yeah. Remember, they don't care. They don't care. They're only trying to provide liquidity and volatility. And who lives off liquidity and volatility? The high frequency traders. All right, that's who. This is, they love the algorithms. They love the algorithms. High frequency traders love the algorithms. NASDAQ coming down. I mean, watch the YM to the full number, 700. <clears throat> watch the NASDAQ. Yeah, Dow's looking creepy, man. Oh. Are you she right? Resigned. She resigned. Who? Shadow, the Secret Service director, resigned. Good. She needed to. Needed freaking to. Hillary told her to. Yeah, Hillary. Yeah, Hillary. Guys, I see a twelve way down here, fifty-six twelve on ES. Okay. Down here, bottom of your, you know, ten o'clock deal. Come back here. It's looking creepy. SPX. Looking like it wants that 12 downstairs. Now, it's got all kinds of holes here, so it may, you know, trickle down there, but that's the biggest yeah. one I see downstairs. Todd, man, you scare me when you do that. 
He's like, hold on. I'm like, sorry. I'm like, hey, she needed to, man. She needed to. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that, man. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you're good. There's sure 11, 12 coming up, man, right here. But you see 11. 10 50 or so. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Joking. Yeah, yeah, that's what I see. So I see the short to that. Then let's see what happens in this area. And do I see little gaps? That, yeah, you still got some gap. Oh my God, look at it tanking. See what I'm saying, guys? 1030 reversal. You got a whole area. Oh, here. oh, oh, why oh. am See you later. Yeah, right into the gap in the nasty NASDAQ. Right into that gap, man. Remember, YM breaks this even number. It could come down to the next even pretty quick, man. That's just YM. That's what it does. Yeah, it just hit VWAP at, eight, at uh, 681. Thank you. Uh, nasty NASDAQ. Even gaps. That's gaps. good for later. Yeah, going through it. Yeah. You're breaking support areas now. For the video, guys, you are into this area. Just too many gaps. That's why this little one here, I see that 11 or 10, 25, or right there, it's about to hit it. 11 is a support area. And he he goes right to it, man. He shorted that great. Remember shorts up here and pattern setting up, getting into bigger gaps downstairs. Job will up here make this make this a little bigger here at 11, 10, 75, 11 or so. It's 12. 11, is a, 11 again was a major resistance area on the way up. It becomes support. Let's see. There it goes. Right there to gap. That's yeah. nice. Now you're going to get over so bounce, man. Melting. It's getting there. Uh, possibly, you know, or 10, 10 on NASDAQ. He hasn't come down to 01, uh, 0425, man. 02 is the area. Tom, if you're still here. 02, I mean, 02. 02 is the, is the area. Major, major support. Yeah. 02 also, man. It can. Close gap, maybe one minute here. Even Russell's taking a break. That Russell pushes crazy. That's how I got out, man. Also got a big gap down here too. Yeah, it takes you where look, these guys make it a bunch of money. They're gonna they're gonna take profit. Oh yeah. Look at your ES getting hurt. ES is tanking, man. 1030 deal. We got a 1030 reversal, Ryan, that uh, we look for. It happens pretty pretty regularly. You look at yesterday, we're kind of calling it a 10, 1030. We had 1030, right? A 1030 too, Todd. Same repeat yeah. chart. If you look yesterday and look at today, it's probably going to come to the bottom, test bottom, and that deal. That's why, you know, you see a setup like that, you're just like, okay, we're done for a minute here. Why is the liquidity gone? They couldn't break through, coming right back down. You got that short, great, man. You guys are awesome. Now let's see what happens. Draw a fib for the day. Now that we have some data. 50% move. RTH 50%. Whoa, well, not that puking. Right around the one yesterday. It wants that 33, man. Should be right. Let's see if all two holds up. Yeah, you get a bounce from there. It's getting down there. We get a bounce. There it goes. Oh, 580. NASDAQ trying. I'm waiting for this YM. 
I don't think anything's going to move. The YM has been leading the way most of the day from before the opening. So I'm waiting for that YM. I want to see a green candle start. I want to see it firming up. ES looks like it's firmed up. Yeah, that's a good bounce. It's a good bounce. Good bounce. Good call, Richie. Yeah. I had an old, old, old three limit in there. Um, yeah. Not, an old three limit, Tom. Did not get it in the ES contract. So let's I think see you're going to get it this next one. I think, I think, I think you're going to get it. I see 0325. All, all these greens, man. That's what I see. 0225. Bottom of the day, kind of open. Even the Russell's taking a hit. Guys, why we didn't push through? Remember, those are like, we tried, but that's your short right there. That doesn't mean that we're not going to try again. See if we get a bounce. That's like there. Long ES here. There you go. I think I think they get a bounce. Yeah, right here. Let's see what happens. I'm keeping this tight because I know I'm going to add at 02 ish. Um, long at 05 ish, five and a half. So let's see what happens. I'm protecting this at 98.75. I will add at 02, 03 again. If I get the opportunity, I'll, I'll keep my stop exactly where it is. I'd like to see the YM now start to move up and firm up in this area. I'd be happy to see that. Yeah, come on now. Come on. You should get a bump. You got YM going down to the main number. Be careful, 40,600. And let's see what happens with the nasty NASDAQ. Yeah, that's a nice push. Come on, go. I want to see this trade through 10, through 11 with acceleration, All right? That's a good trade, Richie. That's a good bounce. We'll, we'll see. I see an 0250 downstairs, man. And so it would be, you might want to be nimble with that 0250. Big gap down here. The night kind of deal. Might get down here and do the 97 area again. Look, the algorithms, as we've been talking about all day. They hunt for this. They're hunting. They know this whole two area is an important area, okay? Now, my guess is that Albert is right. I'm, a, I'm, I'm prepared for it. I will be adding down there. Even the Russell took a hit. That's why I got out, man. Hey, it gives you the money. Get the heck out. Go to Walmart. Go to Walmart. Yeah, Ryan, the 1030 happens all the time. Look, it happened yesterday. Look at here. Uh, yesterday, 945, 10 o'clock, 11, I mean, 1030, 11 o'clock, all the way back down and making new lows. Then 1130, 12 o'clock, when we're leaving the room, Europe gets out of the market, boom, right back up. Probably repeat spit image. I mean, you see this? This is the drop down, middle of the day, going to the, you know, quote, quote unquote, low, maybe a little lower of the night getting these gaps, maybe all the way down here to this gap. And then what? Going right back up. That's your 5,600 kind of play again. Went lower to 88 yesterday, but, you know, trying to get everybody out. Usually when it's doing this in the afternoon, it's when it just starts creeping up. We just gave a, I think we just gave a, a, a deal about it before you came in. And, um, same kind of deal. I think it's going to drop again, Richie. 022, 02, 50. It's the next one I see. Yep. 
Oh five. Let me get rid of this. I think this old five is gone. Let me get rid of this order block. That's pretty much gone. Oh three. Oh two. Fifty. I am printed six hundred and below now, but it's begrudgingly. This look looked like an algorithm move to me to print it. Be careful. You're going to get a bounce here, in my opinion. Yeah, you can get that ten again. Ten. Ten seventy five. Get rid of the 12. This green one here, it could come onto there again and then come down, or just take off close gap here and go. There it go. It. Most of nasty Nasdaq. There yep. goes I am. You see that algorithm activity? Okay, it tempted you to puke down near the bottom. Tempted you. Yeah, man. Take that, criminals. 1075 11. Let's see if it wants to make it up here. Close this in some and then. That O2, O2, this O2 is, is, is pretty uh, pretty empty. So that's what I'm thinking. Hey, man, before I would take a long, be careful with that O2. See, it's coming back to 11, 1075 area right here. Not too many people coming in either. I mean, you got some coming in, but then there's an area downstairs to them. All right, there's one. I just took one off. Right below VWAP. Six handles on a mini contract. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to be wrong, but I'm taking it off because I can't help it, Albert. Yeah, I know. I, today, <laughs> look, man, if it breaks up the top and starts to go, it's fine. But I think, I think, you know, me, I love the NASDAQ, man. And it's, it's got to it's gotta do what it does. If not, man, I, I, I just take the money. Scalp it. It's your 10, 1050, 1075 right here, 11 area. That O2 is just too too uh too empty, but let's see if it wants it. That was your uh hey, daily yeah. kind of look. Just to be a nice clear. type of deal here. Just to be clear, I, I was long ES there. Three Good mini point. contracts, minis, yes, minis. I put a mark order block down here so I know what the heck's going on once it gets there. It really priced everything in too. So, you know, this could be it. You see it, man. Look at these crazy fools. Coming back to this, it does have a big gap upstairs here. What's interesting to me is that the YM came down. They, the algorithms took over, as we've been talking about, printed 40, 40,600. They could not drag in any more sell side to sell at the bottom, okay, when they set up that move. And what happens? 40 handles later, all right? YM is 40,638 as we talk. And conversely speaking, there goes the ES contract. And the NASDAQ, excuse me, and the ES never printed O2, never even attempted O2, firmed up at O5 where I was long. And, and, and that's it, man. That's it. I mean, the algorithm, yeah. you've got to get in a mindset of the algorithm. All right. Yeah. Where the algorithms? Richie calls out where his stop is, and he doesn't move his stops. I only move my stop when I'm, uh, you know, when I'm chasing and making money and keep moving it up. But uh, at at this particular time, let me elaborate on that, there, Quinn and Ryan, for your purposes. We know that O2 was a major support area. We know we spoke about the algorithms puking and, and setting up everybody when they can't help themselves. They got to go to these areas on a day like this when the, when the volume, volume is muted and the volatility is muted. When they see an opportunity, they want to take it. Okay, but the tip off there was the last uh, 10 handle move on a YM was definitely convoluted to print 4,600. Conversely speaking, the NASDAQ, I um, mean, excuse me, the ES contract, we know O2 is major support, all right? It came down, it came down, it came down. It from, you know, came down to six, six and a half, rallied to seven and a half, eight, uh, came down to seven, rallied to eight, uh, came down to six and a half, hung around there, hung around there, hung around there. But the tip off to me, you say you give the market some time to show you more. So at that time, it was evident that the YM wasn't puking from the 4,600 print, okay? It was really evident. So you look at the ES, and then you say, and then I say, okay, fine. Didn't even attempt the O2 support area, which is a major support area. That's where I got long. Okay, now, having said all of that, 
I was long three contracts. I know I was all long, I know I was going to add at O2. Okay. And because you know those things, you could protect that down three handles. My long, my long, and it probably would have been around four, let's just say. And I would have risked four hand, I would have risked five handles on that trade. Why? Because I'm not sticking around past that. Why? If they print 5,200, if, if, if they would have printed on that run uh, uh, 5,600, if they would have printed 5,600, you know, you got to give it a little room. All right. And so, conversely speaking, I like to keep that kind of trade tight. I, I wasn't, I hope that, uh, I hope that, that that came through properly. And I wouldn't move that stop because it's tight. And it's tight relative to the technicals. Meanwhile, look at the uh, ES. Of course, I should have kept the kicker. Todd will tell you. Albert will tell you. I can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. Can't help it. Todd will do the same thing. Albert will do the same thing. The Dow ran back in that buy zone and, and shot up again from there, guys. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, I, I Todd, is, they all did too. They all went back to even where they started from, big push. ES, NASDAQ, big push. And in those areas, uh, those zones have become support and resistance areas as they're violated. So, you know, when they come back, when they puke it and they come back up through it, all right, it becomes a resistance area or vice versa. He has come down and close at 12 before it goes. Pull down, maybe close at 12. And if he wants to go, go to the top. Did that several times yesterday. That Dow gave you 200 handles each clip, man, yesterday, man. Crazy moves. You're welcome, uh, Ryan. Let's see, 1075 maybe here. Come back down. Close this gap right here on the left. So you went out, closed this gap perfectly. If you see it, you can draw a line right here. No, hey, right to it. <clears throat> it closes it up. It prices everything very nice here. That's I like that because it's like, hey, man, they, you know, you don't need to come down here again, really. 15, 15 becomes a resistance area on the ES. <clears throat> what support on the way down becomes a resistance area on the way up. That's the way this stuff works, folks. Yeah. We're not recreating the wheel here. We're just reading what the market is showing us. And we're good at being ahead of the curve, not behind the curve. I got a friend that lives on the curve. <laughs> Big wind is coming in, guys. This could take off again. There it goes. And NASDAQ is moving up. YM should probably be bought here. And I uh, look for the ES contract that go through 15 with some kind of acceleration. It That's wants to. Good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I will like this 11, this 1050 to get hit. <clears throat> Again, to close that in some before it takes yeah. off. <clears throat> 1050, come on. Don't go yet. Don't go. Don't go yet, man. You got a 13. Oh, good. good, Thomas. Good. Thomas killing it. Yeah, he. he there um, you go. There you go. You see this no accident, Tom. That's the important thing. Oh, my God. Thomas is killing it. That's the important thing. You know, everybody, nobody, everybody wants a bottom. Everybody wants to sell a top. Everybody wants to buy a bottom. Okay. So. That is the theory behind the conversation or the, the, the dialogue we shared a, a, a couple of hours ago, by the way, whenever that was. Okay, so yeah, that's right. Especially, yeah, everybody wants some. I want some too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 how come how come it's okay when he does it, Richie? I don't know oh, what he did. I can't even hear him. What did he do? Hey, I'm talking about the trade, what Thomas said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> 
Oh boy. So okay. man, I would love that 1050. Oh man, it's gonna go and NASX is gonna explode, isn't it? You nerd. Come on. Oh well. I'm gonna miss this trade. If it, if it explodes, I'm gonna miss it. I wanna pull back. Unless this ES contracts go through 15 here with acceleration, NASDAQ will come back down. Let's let's see what happens. But anyway, Tom, once again, when you know that O2 uh, support area is right there, you're going to have to risk something. And that's the theory. And that's the idea. And that's exactly what took place. And again, having said that, you know you're going to stop that. Where I stopped it, 98-ish. Okay? You know what your risk is. And if they yeah. break 98 on the way down, if you add it at O2, you're long at O5 and O2, and let's call it O3. Uh, let's call it all three and a quarter, uh, and you stop it at 98, you're risking five handles, all right? Because if it breaks 98, then, you know, all bets off. You don't want to be around. Uh, don't go yet. Come on. 13, 2, 5, and 10, 10, 10, 50, man. Don't go yet. Yeah, sort of like, you know, you're, you're late to work and you see the yellow light, you know, and you, you kind of like, you know, you risk it for the biscuit or do I stop? Keep an Looking eye on the yellow ES. light, or do you know? Keep an eye on the e. deal. Yeah, on the ES contract here. That's it. Right around. Oh the man, come down. <laughs> oh, don't go yet. Nasdaq's trying to go. It's gonna leave me behind. Give me a big wick and come back down, baby. Oh man, that Nasdaq looks strong, but oh man, come on, it left me. There goes the ES contract now. And there goes the NASDAQ. Criminals. And there goes the YM. You're building up a strong market. Yeah, man. Buying bottoms, man, again. Selling the top. Oh, man, NASDAQ. Darn it. See, it priced everything very good. And that's what tells you sometimes when it prices things in good, no gaps, that it's going to go. Yeah, I think it's going. I think the ES contract is going too. Crap. They're all coming together here. YM moving up strong. Man. Is, uh, they're spending money very wisely here. And it looks like a... It looks like... Oh man! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it has a lot of gaps down here too, man. I mean, it does upstairs too, man. Yes, it's coming and getting those. Uh, I'll be right back. Out of five. My wife is calling me. Let me see where she is. Okay. You got the seventeen twenty five, nineteen fifty, and twenty one twenty five. These three, man. I thought I would get these first. Darn it! Missed the Nasdaq trade. Hey, you can't get them all. Let's see. Getting to the top, Europe tail kind of deal too. Europe starts leaving the market at 11.30 Eastern, of course. 11 o'clock, they start getting creepy. They can uh, get out of the market, pressure relief, and they can come back down usually. Yesterday, that was exactly the play, man. We left the room and the market took off. Maybe getting out early. I don't know. Darn it. I wanted that pullback. Uh, to, let me see if we get it. It's got, it's got this area here up pretty good. I'll pull it up for the video. You guys can click up here and check it out. You got all these to close, man. I wanted this area here. Wanted to come back and boom, take a long from there. But it left me in the NASDAQ behind. Oh, my God, Lord. Oh, wait. Gotta wait. <clears throat> ES 2125, 2150, right here. It's wide open. Then you got a 2450. That's what you got, man. Darn it. I wanted a pullback here. 
It's all right. Can't get them off. Yeah, Nasdaq straight up. Russell's doing really good too. We got had a pullback. Beautiful pullback. Got right in. 250 where I got in. I got 11 out of that and then came back. That's nice. Glad I got out up there. Look at the Nasdaq. Oh my God. I thought I would get a little bit of a pullback on that. More than that, but yeah, man. Like I'm, I'm it. Yeah, Perna, Perna got it. Perna she got, got it. it. He got Good. it. Great job. Oh my yeah, god, I, Lord! I was waiting on it to come back a little bit more, man. Yeah, I was waiting here. I was watching ES, thinking you know the the uh, the pullback to get little gap there, but it didn't happen. It's thirteen to five at least. 10 to come back to that and it just didn't do it it's all right mystery freaking what 50 30 handles it's all right man it is going straight up straight up man jeez guys if it's gonna break the top Especially early, you're gonna get you're gonna get some pushes, man. Now everything is going up. Push to the top, might as well go. From bottom to top. You got them. Beautiful. You know what? I don't even have my 50% here on NQ. That's a problem. That's a rookie mistake. Look what this 50 is, dude. Right where point I got in. I didn't have it on here. Right there where he got in. Straight up. To the top. Getting overbought here soon. Be careful. It can drop. Drop first. See where that ends and then go from there. Maybe 20,000 push and then push forward. It's looking strong. It's looking like Euro got the heck out early due to me. Same move as yesterday, but at uh, 10, you know, 10 till 11. Purna, you're killing it. You're buying the coffee today. Yep. I want a tube steak too, because I know Richie likes them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, they pull back here. Now it just goes straight up. It's our YouTube channel. Pull back here. You're already extended. Beautiful trade. Jeez. I mean, that was straight up trade. Like, get in it and win it. Pull back should get your higher low to go, guys, if it's going to break the top. You can see it, man. You're like, dude, what? You know, this has to break the top, right? Straight up. Extended. She gets you a short here. Little pull back short. Mr. Scalpy or something. <clears throat> Jeez, dude, that was a heck of a push. Oh, five to 25. That's a heck of a push. That's a beautiful push. Oh, yeah, there it is, guys. Wow, dude, it is freaking flying. Now, let's see if we've got to push it down here. It's extended. Guys. It, you know, expect a little, you know, something. It's 
packed a little short here. Careful. It is extended. Let's see what they want to do. I mean, this thing is going straight up, guys. I'm not going to lie. I mean, geez, man, what happened? Some type of short. Something. Guys are still pushing. Big money come in. Something happened downstairs, obviously. It's got to have a pullback. Do we get some type of pullback and they go? Something happened there, man. Yeah. So, I mean, that's 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 crazy. Straight up, no red. I mean, that middle right of Hope Corner, you're still in it. It should get you a pullback, but it is extended, way extended, man. I mean, it should get you a pullback. Jeez, that was a heck of an extension on that play, man, dude. Okay, it could push through that now. Let me see XPX. 81. Right to the top, man. Should give you some type of pullback, guys. Oh, my God. Straight up. Something happened there, man. Leak. Euro gets out. We're out of here. You see it. Something's happening here, dude. Definitely something's happening. You see it, man. It's going straight up. Pullbacks out of rebot now. You see it, guys. Any news? Anything? See anything, Todd? I, I, I don't know. Let me look. I don't think so. I didn't think nothing was going on. British pound firms for, uh, 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 versus US dollar. Um, we got a 42 day bill auction in 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand. You should you should get a drop here, man. My God, brother. Guys, that's a push. It's a go on the pullback. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's it's going. It's going, man. Everything is. So kind of like a FOMO type of deal, but you see it, man. Waiting on a pullback, but moves like this, man. That was a whole, like, straight shot up. Poor now. I hope you kill that. Oh, my God. You got it at 20. That's great. See upstairs, NASDAQ, man. NASDAQ 72 has got 30 more. Definitely hit that maybe 100 off of that push. Pullback City. It's 
Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Beautiful trade, Purna. Yeah, you that was a great job. It's freaking crazy. I mean, you see it, pullbacks, here we go, pullback, pullback city. Jeez. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Look, man, I think it's a leak. Leak on the freaking NASDAQ, bro. That's what I'm telling you, man. I, I This is crazy. Pushing up like that before Europe. I can see Europe exiting and then doing it. It's kind of creepy. It's a little creepy. I want to pull back, dude. If it ends at something, be careful, but... <clears throat> when Richie comes back, he's going to freak out. Now it looks like the Russell. You see it, dude. I, I, I came out of nowhere. I mean, they bought that bottom really hard, bro, there. They're in it and winning in this thing, man. Pullbacks are good, cool. I mean, you've got some areas open here. You know, maybe pull back to this area, but. It's a pullback now. You see it, man. See if we get to that 100 up top. Thank you. Yes, 28.50. I mean, it looks like it wants the top side, guys. I mean, uh, pullbacks are good, but. Twenty-eight fifty in the top. Let's see. It looks like it wants to break. Yes, you see it. Looks like it wants to top it. As I could get you another 30, man. I mean, that's a crazy, crazy push. Put an alert up here. And it's 11.24, you're up exit. Looking creepy. Careful. Careful, careful. There's your pullback right here, man. Here, backs it. Pullback, it's good.
Yep, yeah, that's sitting. We're going to push. Don't look bad, but you know, it's got a. All right, you got an ES2450. Let me see if they spring up here. 2450. 2425. Here it is. Let's see if this is it. We got a 2125. Area's bigger down here. You got back sitting. Let's see. It looks like a pullback to go, man. We'll wait four minutes and see if this thing takes a little bit. You're pushing it up. There it goes. Europe access to see you, man. Yeah, ma'am. That bill auction's in two minutes. It's it's a low folder. It could be that too, Todd. I mean, look, man, that push from downstairs like that in one shot, it's telling you big money's coming in this market. Before these new so something leak, possibly. That just doesn't, don't happen, man, just because, bro. That's just a one 15-minute, bam, one push. So Russell's getting a bid. Pull back good. I am too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. See where we at, man. You said in one minute? Yeah. All right, all right, guys, I'm back. Bridget. There he is. My wife's away, and uh, she called in to say hello. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. She's out on the east end of Long Island, a house that she decorated for a wealthy person. Doing a little touch-up work. The house is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous, really ridiculous. You know, I mean, it's ridiculous. But the beauty of any decorator is to be able to adjust, as Todd Craner will tell you, adjust to the level, adjust to the budget and make it look beautiful. Anybody can make it look beautiful. And nobody, even no matter what you spend, it doesn't really matter. If you don't have the taste, you know, it doesn't really matter. Richie, this thing pulled up a hole from, from the bottom. All the way to the top, one shot, one 15 minute candle. Jesus, yeah, this somebody is, got in this market, man. Yeah, we're waiting here to uh 10 30 year of exit. Yep, unbelievable. I hate these days now. We got to get the, the cat's got to come out of the bag. Bag. We got to do something here. Something's got to happen. Let's go. This is boring because this, this is all a trap. Everything's a trap. 
Yeah, just some pool bending to happen, man. Jeez, that was a heck of just one shot. And it got to the top up there, but man, the only want to break through. Trying to. Our resistance here, guys. If it breaks through this, it's gonna go. It'll continue to push. Looking like it wants it's wicking down on the bottom. Let's see. Push, baby, go. Oh, boy. Well, I did it again, Todd Craner. What happened? Well, when a move on a move on a way up, okay, on the move on a way up, when when I was describing the move on a NASDAQ on a way up, on a YM on a way up, and the fact that the ES contract went with acceleration through, through 15, we were waiting for that. So I got long ES contract at 16 and a half. I, I uh, hold on. Where the hell is it? Sixteen and a half. Where did I get along that stuff? Anyway, yeah, I made. Oh, there it is. Okay. I made three and a half handles or four handles. Got out at uh, nineteen and a half. Three handles. Okay, and look where the ES contract goes. The thinking was good, but of course yeah. I got out too early. And and uh, just to uh, just to speak about that play again, uh, a similar play. We knew that 15 was a support area. We knew uh, that going through 15 was was acceleration uh, is what we were looking for. Uh, and and so I was able to take that long at 15, four, 16 and a half. And I was stopping that at 14, simply because if it violated 15 again, gave it another handle room, all right? And that, that was my exposure, two and a half handles. That's it. And, and the upside was far greater. But idiot that I am, all right, I took it off too soon. Yes, I think you're going to get an exploration of the top. This thing looks like it wants to go. Yes, Nasdaq and up. Yes, getting to the top there. You know, when you have, push, Nasdaq push 30. Nasdaq creating you, a W, man. When you have three different indexes all moving in the same direction, the foundation becomes stronger and stronger. And now, uh, as Albert has been pointing out, you have the IWM up, up over 1%. All right, there really, and this all could be shot down by this mm -hmm. afternoon, by the way. So, you know. Yes, trying to get to the top up there. NASDAQ traveling, trying to, trying to set up a W here to go. 3033, the major, that's the magnet. 3033 on the ES contract. Nice trade, Perna, that away. Just yeah. see. There it goes. W, N, Q, everything, guys, is shooting up. Very nice. NASDAQ should give you this even upstairs, 20,100, guys. Trying to get to it. Leaped up there to 80, what's that, 84, 75? I'm taking off. I don't know. I'm long a couple of thousand shares of letter S in, a, in an investment account. I'm long a couple of thousand shares of Palantir in an investment account. Letter S low was 1367 for the year. Palantir was 1368. Palantir is 2910. Uh, you know, I'm taking off 500 shares of each year. I don't care. I'm just taking off 
putting some money in a bank. These are investment accounts, nothing to do with day trading. Sometimes I don't even look at it. I mean, I have them on my watch list, but I don't trade them. Uh, it's creepy. Yeah. Back. The semiconductors, by the way, are, are not lighting the world on fire here. All right. The SOX index is down at 1%. AMAT is down 2%. All right. Intel is down almost 1%. All right. There are some greens. Qualcomm is down 92 cents. Arm, all right. Arm uh, came to market at 42, by the way. Arm is up eight bucks, eight eighty-five, almost nine. SMCI is up sixteen seventy-one. Uh, okay, AMSC is up a buck eighty-two. I mean, you know, AMD up seventy-five cents. Oil stocks are down. Financial stocks are plus on a day, not significantly. All right, Goldman Sachs up 681. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to question? You want to question that CEO? All he does is keep making the stock go up. Guy setting up another short, man. Again, looking like an M. Going to the top and selling it. To break, has to break to our 24-25 ES and come down close some of these gaps. That's a beautiful looking M developing there. A lot of gaps. He's right about that, man. A lot of gaps. First gap on the NASDAQ, the beginning of it is 49.50. The bottom of it is 41 and a quarter. You could do the math in the middle to make 50% of that. You don't need a Fibonacci to know that one. Sometimes you mess up your charts. It's too much to look at, and you think you're doing yourself a favor, but you're not because it's just more confusing. The next gap on a NASDAQ under, under, that, under that one I just mentioned is 31.50, and the bottom of that is 25. So you're talking around 28, 27, 50, or 28, whatever it is. So there's gaps on the way down, as Albert has just pointed out. And that's all that means. That's what means. That is everything today in a situation like this. The algorithms, again, are hunting, hunting, big game hunting. Bungalow Bill. Hey, Bungalow Bill, what did you do? Bungalow Bill. Nice pullback. I mean, it looks beautiful, man. It looks like a pullback is good. Your EMAs look beautiful, man. They don't look bad at all. All of them look perfect to pull back to go. Dow, forget it. That one's a break to the top side. Yes, NASDAQ kind of holding here. What time yep. is it? I'm 39. Yep. Little gap on the ES right here, 2450, 25. Underneath that, 2250 would be a wonderful entry area. 2150, 2250 on the ES contract. Oh. Yeah, that's your 24. Let's see if it gets down here again at 24, 25, 24, 50 area. Oh, excuse me. You see, there's, 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 what's going on now is that uh, when, there's no, <clears throat> when there's no algorithmic uh, activity, they just drift around here, drift around. But the good news is for the buy side is that they're really not selling them, you know? No fear of selling anything. VIX is down 45 cents, 14.46, over 3%. 
There goes guys looking like it wants the top. He's trying, man. Dow, forget it. Dow took off. Yep. And, and the Dow is only up 69 handles. That's just, and, and, and the not, NQ is down, uh, excuse me, up. Did I say down? It's plus 70 handles, and, it, and NASDAQ is plus 60 handles. Okay. I mean, you're talking a zero spot 17% on a, a dirty yeah. down and zero spot 27%. So, you know, don't get all lathered up. They could go from here. They could, you know, this is algorithm activity, what's going on. They want they want to uh, get everybody emotionally sized up, and they're going to pick their moments to do that. And in the middle, nobody really cares. They're not selling. They, Europe didn't even sell it on their exit. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. Don't look bad, man. Yes. Just pausing here for a minute. Oh, interest rates they don't know what they're doing become a non-factor uh, TNX 422 four spot 225 all right right in this area looks like it's drying up on the way down it's been in this area for a couple of weeks doesn't really uh, have an inkling to go uh, lower next move up should be higher on the interest rates as far as the 10-year note that's the way I see it Dollar took a beating. Uh, you guys should all know that uh, we're planning on doing another YouTube, uh, a YouTube event on Friday from eight to nine. So uh, we'll be joined by whoever signs up on YouTube on our YouTube channel. So you should know that your uh, your comments and participation uh, are welcome. And appreciated. And that's that creepy. You got the down, the Russell freaking going up. And that's that could catch up. Get that ES going. That's that will be. Hey, wait, don't leave me behind. Look for the ES, the algorithms, go into this gap here. 24 and three quarters is the middle of the gap. Bottom of the gap on the ES is 24.50. All right, there is another gap below that. Okay, the bottom of which is 21.50, 22.75, 21.50, a gap underneath the one just mentioned. Yeah. That's all the algorithms care about here now, folks. They can't generate anything except to find these gaps and to try to violate these gaps. They don't care about, they don't have a position, All right? The algorithms don't have a position. Just trying to go, man. Stall it up. Yeah, 24.25, 24.50, Richie. Yeah, they can get hit there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it looks good. Dow's going. It's going to push this ES eventually, man. And that's actually follow. So NASDAQ coming down. 
E S. There it is. E S right to gap. Now it's a fifty E M A. Right to gap. There it is. Right to gap. Let's see. If we got a kick. Well, there's a one-handle move off the gap. He's trying. Yeah. There, oh, there we go. There's a, uh, yep. Handle and a half, a handle and three quarters off the gap. You know, sometimes, sometimes on a day like today, you know, you could, you could literally, you know, buy three or four contracts and look for two handles uh, on an area like in an area like that. It's kind of dangerous, you know. But I mean, look, I mean, you got, you know, two and a half handles right there. It's trying to, Rich. He's trying to go hit that gap perfectly. Let's see if we get a bid. NASDAQ on the 50 EMA. Wick to right to it. Looks good. Yep. ES2. Let's see if we get a push. Put alerts here, so I'm going to watch all this. There are a lot of gaps on the, uh, on the uh, ES. So, I mean, that trade is over with. If I took it, it, was, it would be over with. Uh, there's no question. I will probably would have been out at six, five and three quarters, six on that trade, only because there's many more gaps underneath the market. And you, you already know without repeating over and over this fact that the opinion on, us, on my side here and on our side is the algorithms going to these areas. So nothing else is happening in the marketplace. trying it's probably gonna be off of here so I'll just watch it in the afternoon guys I mean you know you have big time earnings man next door coming so keep an eyeball on it man if you guys are your eyeball on it. <clears throat> You're going to go. You're thinking about it. What do you want to do? Thinking about it, guys, but well, earnings, man, this market's pretty flat. I mean, you got earnings coming, man. That's what I was thinking about. They're going to make a run here? Probably not. They did. I mean, that run for, through the. I, <laughs> it's freaking crazy, dude. Yeah. Oh, was it ever crazy? Man, yeah, it's, it's uh, perfect, ridiculous. Perfect W on the 15 minute YM chart. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's. As perfect as a W as you'll see. There he goes. I don't know if it's going to go to the moon, but it's heavy. High for the day, uh, 29 and three quarters right here. And, um, uh, you know, when they get to a level like that, uh, it's uh, usually a, a get forgiven conclusion that they will print 30 and then tack on a couple of ticks. 
they always like the big numbers. The fact that it didn't do that, uh, keep it in the back of your mind, not ready to do that. They didn't feel like they could stir up enough volatility and liquidity, so they never printed it at, at 30 and 30 and a quarter or a half, quarter or a half area. NASDAQ, ES has got to come down now to me, coming down to, let's say. Yeah, a little gap there, like you said. Perfect, right there. There it is. 21.50 maybe, ES. One quick flush. Maybe they tick a little lower too. Now the algorithm's got their juices going a little bit. Watch out. Yeah, 2450 getting full here. And a couple downstairs. That was a freaking crazy push, bro. <laughs> oh, and down again. Here we go, here we go DS. 22 and three quarters, 2250. Yeah. Come on, algorithm. Do what you do. We know you're going there. Oh, yeah. We know. We know. Nice little gap underneath that, too, at 21. So let's see. Yeah. NASDAQ coming down. Yeah, uh, it's coming the top, Richie. Find the bottom. There, there you go. It's algorithm that their best looks. I am. You got big caps there at the bottom, Richie. 21, like you said. Including this one, you got 21 down here. Yep. So. All these down here, guys. Yeah, 21 will make sense to come down there and fill that in. Pushing back up here, closing this one minute gap first. Then it makes sense to another drop here, close these. Where it went to them halfway or so. You got another one down here. Keep an eye on the YM here. YM is the last vote to be cast. All right. YM starts to puke from here and it's showing signs that it wants to come lower. 21 is in, is yeah. in play. 21 on the ES. Thirty on a nasty Nasdaq. Nice area, by the way. <clears throat> 30 on the NASDAQ. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like a fall. One thing I want to point out before we go, and that is the YM areas that Todd Crane has put out there. And uh, usually they have not been as consistent as they've been lately. So 
you know, they take it a little more seriously, the YM areas that, that, that Todd has put out there. Okay, they've been consistent in the last two, three days, uh, or let's just put it on a consistent basis, they've been working, okay? Now, if you're gonna take positions, once again, on a YM, it could hurt you, hurt you badly. So, Todd, what do you recommend on a stop sit? And I know, I want you to put it out there. I, I, I usually do 30, Richie. Yeah, 30. What I, do. I mean, you can do 50, but I do 30. Yep. And then, um, you know, I set my first target usually about 12 to 20, and I push my stops. Yep. So 30 handles on one, let's just say, MNQ contract, $150, you're exposing yourself. But, you know, you, <clears throat> you know, you, you, single entry, single entry executions don't work. You know that. You have to be willing to add. Uh, you know, don't put don't put it all in on one basket. All right, in one. You know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. You got to be, have to be willing to add. So when you're willing to add, okay. So uh, if if you're long, yeah, like in like in that zone that I do, Richie. You know, if it's a thirty point zone, you yeah. can put you know one every five. Yeah, you know, or, or or just and just that way, you know, if you're trying and if you do do micros instead of instead of minis, you know, yeah, and and just watch it and see because, you know, usually uh, if I have a hard number in my mind like fifty percent of the zone or something, then I you know maybe I'll put more there, but oh. and sometimes it goes through further. But that that's what I do. And I, I do I usually do 30 points. If it's not gonna turn on 30 points, you don't want to stay in it and it drop 150 against right. you. So if you let's just say hypothetically you're long YM at 50, okay, one micro contract, you stop it at 20, you add at 30, you add at 30, you 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 uh, you double at 30, okay, or you double at 25. You don't change your stop. Right. You don't change your stop. So you're bringing your price down. You're increasing your exposure because you're increasing your size, but you're still right. protecting yourself. You're bringing your number down. So that if you're adding at 30, okay, uh, excuse me, if you're adding at 40, your price is now 45, you're long. And if you're doubling up, your price is 42-ish to a 42.50, and and which is if you have the bank to do it, at some point, uh, instead of adding just doubling your size, you want to maybe triple your size, or you want to think about it, especially when you're protecting yourself as it gets closer to your stop, which again you don't move, as uh, Ryan as Quinn points out, I don't move my stop, so I'll I'll, I'll keep. I'll add my exposure, but I'll bring my my risk down. Okay, if they stop me out, they stop me out. But the, when it gets closer to an area, uh, when it gets closer to an area, you got a better chance to survive. And if you double up near the bottom, all right, which would only only expose yourself for two additional handles, which is stopping place, not bad. I mean, it turns around, you know, and it turns around, you're going to be puking this stuff out at 35, 40 for sure. Or, or 40, 45, uh, and you're going to be long at 38, say. So here comes the ES contract again. It's 12 o'clock. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, all right, be careful this afternoon. All right. Remember, the algorithms are here to trap you today. All right, there's uh, the, the volatility is low, liquidity is low. Uh, the players are all watching the same as we're watching and uh and just watch out for the vacuums and the traps because they're going to be they're going to still try algorithm is not going to give up they're going to still yeah. try to trap you yeah you're right man you're right all right guys let's have everybody here thank you thank you for coming in thank you for being here yep and, yeah uh, be careful this afternoon all right folks yep. Enjoy yourself. And i hope everybody was green today guys We'll yeah. see you tomorrow.
Have yes, a good one. Yeah, Ryan, glad glad to have you, buddy. Yes, glad, yeah. nice to have you here. Definitely. Yeah, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.